Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and a another kitty stream. Holy smokes, I can't believe you guys went without me for like a week. How do you feel? Do you feel rejuvenated and refreshed and maybe a little excited to see me? Maybe, just maybe. Um, yeah, it feels good to be back with a brand new update in Disney Magic Kingdom's game, update 63, which is going to be themed Hocus Pocus. We have a new season pass as well and a new event coming up. Some leaderboards, of course, and uh, you know, we gotta love all of the amazing content. And Babel here today. Thank you very much, Becky, for 25 months. I think you were the very first one to cap over two years. The first one I've seen to cap over two years. Girly, I love you so much. And apparently you love me just as much. So thank you very, very much um, for being a kitty VIP. You are the freaking best. Yes, please make sure you guys like the stream today and make sure to give some extra hype and love to Becky. Holy smokes. What would I do without people like all of you guys, but especially people like Becky? Like, look at this loyalty. And it shows. It shows. It's unbelievable. The Sanderson sisters, as you can see, are the biggest or is the biggest part of this new update and I am very excited to have the Sanderson sisters here finally finally I have literally been wanting them since I first saw the movie and I mean I had to get my like whole fear of the scary Disney movies out of the way um yeah you guys know I was scared of Nightmare Before Christmas I couldn't get through the intro I would literally have nightmares. I made it through. I still, I freaking love it now. But it took me oh, a long, long time. Many years, many years. And I've only, it's only been in the last five years. I think when I first started, I actually hadn't seen the movie yet because I was too scared. Um, but Hocus Pocus was in a similar boat. Um, but I do freaking love it. Hocus Pocus 1 and 2 I have now seen, of course. Hocus Pocus has been on my, like, DMK list and radar for several years. But I am so happy to see them actually freaking arrive. It's one thing for us to want something, but it's another thing to actually get it. It makes us feel heard, loved, and appreciated. Of course, I did watch the DMK Facebook stream. That was... Uh, informative there were lots of things that i wanted to bring up today some good some that i think you know we still need to kind of have like acknowledged in the game but you know again baby steps baby steps yes we are getting uh some characters in the season pass uh one of them is going to well you know what i'm not gonna spoil it I'm not going to spoil it. I already know. You guys probably already know. But I'm not going to spoil it. Just in case there's somebody out there who doesn't. Um, so, yeah. Like, uh, no way. No freaking way. Um, I'm not into Halloween, but I love your emote for Halloween. How are you not into Halloween? Oh, my gosh. Yes. I freaking, I love Halloween. Halloween is a lot, a lot of fun. Um... Yeah, it's uh it's it's pretty great, not going to lie. I love Christmas more, but Halloween is is uh one of my favorite holidays for sure. For sure. Hello, Hechu. Um when am I going to do a watch party? Huh? When am I going to do a watch party? Where am I doing that? Where I I feel like this is one of the first times I've heard of this request. Um, but yeah, hi, Hooky, hi, Thomas, Tesco, nice to see you, Alvin, thank you so much, I missed you too, I, you know what, it's one of those things when you're like, I don't know, in my line of work, I guess we'll say, um, where you decide you need to take, whether it's like for a holiday or like personal time or like whatever it is, it's like, it's very nerve-wracking because you go what if they forget about me 
I think that's probably one of my biggest things. I'm like, what if I'm forgotten? Or like, they just don't come back. Like, I, you guys are such a staple in my day. And a lot of you guys are here like every stream. And it's just, I honestly, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I, literally after the first like three days, I was like, I hope they remember my name. Like, <laughs> Oh, like it's so it's so silly now that I'm back, but I still like it warms my heart to know that that you guys are still here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um a watch party for the Amazon thing. Wop I already have done a video. I've already done a video. It's done. You know this. It's done. Uh, I hope you didn't forget my request to do a movie night on Twitch for Hocus Pocus 2. You know what, Becky? I have not forgotten. Um, I say we do it tomorrow. I say we do it tomorrow. We'll probably do some other stuff while we watch it, though. I think uh, I think that's something I would like to do. Um, that way, because I can't show the actual movie on stream, but I think it would be a lot of fun to still have that on Twitch tomorrow. Um, but like we, again, can do some other stuff because, uh, yeah, it'll be nice to actually like talk with you guys as well. So you are unforgettable. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Alvin. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you can't say things like that. Yes, you can. Of course you can. <laughs> Um, you want to see my reaction watching the Amazon video? Oh, gosh. It was hard enough when I had to watch it for the editing process. You're actually going to make me watch it again. Ah. What time will I be on tomorrow? I posted in the Discord, but I'm planning to be on at 4. Uh, 4 p.m. EST. And no, I will not be late. Not even by one minute. And I'm going to do YouTube um, tomorrow as well. Uh, 4 p.m. EST. So, yeah. So, YouTube tomorrow is not going to be DMK. It's going to be um, uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley, DDV. Um, that's my new kind of initial for it, so you guys can get familiar with it. Um, but Disney Dreamlight Valley, I'll be doing tomorrow from, like, 11 to, like, 2 um, or 3. Probably 3. Who am I kidding? I always am like, oh, just one or two more minutes. One or two more minutes. And it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. The next thing you know, it's like an hour later. So we'll say like I'll be off somewhere between two and three. But yeah, it'll be good. It'll be fun. You finally did it. You finally watched Hocus Pocus. Yes, Kyron, finally. Hi, Harrison. Welcome. Um, come on, who would forget Steffi? Everyone loves you. <laughs> You're so fun to be with. Well, not really with, but morally with you. Well, for me. From the other side of the world. <laughs> you know what? This is es essentially we need this. This is us. I mean, I feel like we're all just being ourselves. Again, me especially, but I mean... I feel like you guys too. You guys are here. We chat all the time. I know when you guys are not in the best moods or in the best moods of your life. Like there's there's no there's no keeping this from each other anymore. Like we're we're all friends here and it's great. It's so great. I feel like I feel people's energies. Sometimes when we play Fortnite a little bit more than other times. <laughs> I feel Feel it coming through the screen. Oh my gosh. Binky, hi. <laughs> you have a cute name. I like your saying your name. Hi, Josh. <gasps> Can't wait for tomorrow for Minecraft Live. Ooh, that sounds entertaining. I take it they don't do uh, live too often. You reach level 50 in Fortnite today. Congrats. Oh, I look forward to chatting with you guys about Fortnite tomorrow. Like lots and lots and lots. Um, so the Sanderson sisters, they're coming. I'll, I'll keep catching up with you guys as, as we, as we go along here. But, um, yeah, so let's, let's start making a little bit of a dent here because this is going to be kind of a big stream. Um, so the Hocus Pocus mini event runs from October 20th to November 4th. I actually was very worried, um, that it was going to be 
starting like yesterday. <laughs> so November 13th. Or, oh my god, I love November 13th. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. October 13th. I just skipped a month. Just skipped a month. It's November, guys. <laughs> um yeah but it's actually next week so that's that's great that is great um so that is gonna be entertaining um naturally we have one premium character for 500 gems yes i know what you're all going to say why so much for one character i don't know i don't know i i loved when it was you'd get two for that amount um but i see that maybe they're just having trouble giving us more characters and it's not they want more gems worthy of each character i don't know um they've literally become like the same as a premium permanent content character so anyways it's kind of crazy i did buy the kingdom pass apparently it was like 36 dollars or something canadian yesterday i was like uh, what is happening <laughs> but like okay <laughs> sure <laughs> let's go with that um but yeah so the seasons pass and then like the 500 gems i have 500 gems but i may buy the bundle so yeah it's it's super crazy um but don't be afraid guys you can actually earn the gems but you cannot earn the season pass with gems so you, ha you gotta actually buy that that 30 dollars or whatever if you guys are in the u.s um, it'll be obviously less if you guys are in Canada. Well, expect it. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. So we have sort of um, some of the attractions for the event kind of like all over. So we obviously have um, one of them in the uh, season pass. And then the others are going to be part of the event. So I thought that was kind of interesting um that they kind of split the two up so we'll have the salem circuit in the season pass and the sanderson's house um in the actual event uh the float was very cool i loved the float it was a lot a lot of fun um in terms of what we're actually gonna be getting in the past i'm gonna go over it more like when we get there but I've, i kind of want to touch on a few of the kind of key points there um now we have to kind of remember that the season pass is limited time, so get a jump on it. Um, I'm going to give it a go this time. So last time I was not even close to finishing. Um, but I really want to try and get everything this time, especially since there is a happiness boost when you purchase it. Um, I did not know that last time. It was not visible and like publicly like known. Some people guessed or assumed because people were climbing levels faster than the people that didn't have it. Um so there was no point basically when we found out that it was like a happiness boost. We were like, it was too late. It was it was just too late. So even if you had have bought it, you would have had to use gems or like real money throughout. And it would have sucked. Uh, Sid, thank you so much for the freaking 10 months on here. Steffi Scar is out Wednesday the 19th for DDB. Awesome. So guess what? I'll be streaming all day for that. And on 18th, we have Fort Nightmares for Fortnite. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a freaking blast, guys. A freaking blast. Like, I cannot believe that we we have so, so, so much stuff coming, you know? Like, it's it's so great. I, I totally love it. I guess that means, like, we'll expect, like, December to be um, the date for... Because I believe the first day of winter is, like, the 21st or something of December. So I'm assuming we'll get, like, the Toy Story portion closer towards Christmas. I still, I'm always so amazed that, you know, a winter is, like, doesn't start till pretty much almost Christmas. Like, I, I'm always perplexed by that. I, I don't know if anybody else is, but it drives me crazy. It's $19.99 in the U.S. Okay. I mean, it's still expensive, but you guys in the U.S. get a little, a little better. It's a little cheaper over there. The 19th is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for that. Yeah. Yeah, the the season the season pass the season pass definitely. Uh, honestly, these these games are they they do take like easy 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 like a hundred bucks a month for me easy. Like no if ands or buts. Like I if, like last was it last month? Yeah, because I bought 
Dreamlight and Harry Potter. Oh, for sure. It was like way more than that. Plus like all the regular Fortnite subscription and like, again, any DMK. So yeah, like totally. It like I mean, I definitely spent like four <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I was just like, what? Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it is getting intense guys. So if you guys are having problems like with DMK or whatever, you got to make some decisions. I know that's a really tough thing to do for some people. It's really, really tough. Um, but make your decision now about the pass. Decide if you want it, get it if you want it. Otherwise you just got to leave it behind. Um, I am going to encourage that, uh, you know, buying it part of the way through, uh, I mean, if you can keep up with, like, me or um, Swirly, right? Like, my mom, like, for sure, 100%. Or in the Discord, like, anybody you kind of see, like, posting things about it and you feel like you can keep up with it and you're not on it, awesome. But be aware that, again, like, if the earlier you buy it, the more you're going to get out of it. So if you're keeping up with people that actually purchase the pass, then I'm just going to say, like, flat out, you're doing better than the people at the pass. Right. So you're obviously doing something super right. So just keep just keep that in mind that it's it, it is going to be tricky if you don't buy it early. And if you're not going to buy it now and you really, really wanted it, you know, what? buy it next time. Right. Like there's going to be some more great characters next time. I guarantee it. Um, the Kingdom Pass rewards. There is such a variety this time. I am really intrigued. I love it. Um, one of the things I wanted to bring up is that, you know, incorporating Hocus Pocus, um, you know, Halloween, uh, you know, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Christmas itself, like it just having this diversity in the past, I really like it. However, I do want to point out that I feel like when they're doing it with expanding characters, it makes me feel like they're eliminating tower challenges. This is kind of the point of a tower challenge. So I feel like we're now just paying for the characters for a tower challenge. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because like you have to buy the pass, right? So you're buying these characters and stuff like that. But you wouldn't have to do that if you're working your way through like a tower challenge. So they could have literally just divided this up into tower challenges. Um, but I think they feel they can make more maybe money this way. Uh, I don't think this is as fun for me. It's like a daily grind kind of thing um, over a tower challenge. Uh, I like the idea like, you know, 15 days you know, five days each chapter and then you're done, right? And you get like a couple days off and then you'll have like a leaderboard or whatever. But yeah, it's 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 tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. R.I.P. Hagrid. I know. And Mrs. Potts. It's it's honestly so sad. I actually cried. I legit cried about Hagrid. Um, and I just I'm in shock. I'm definitely doing um, the first Harry Potter tonight. Um like a bazillion percent. And I have uh, Beauty and the Beast, the classic, of course. Um, I'm going to be watching that uh, like next weekend or something like that. Um, I just, I really want to just remember them and appreciate, you know, some of their work. They've done a lot of different things, um, obviously, and they've devoted and given us, you know, devoted their lives to this and also just given us something that, like for me, Hagrid was like a huge part. Like Harry Potter's huge for me. And like it's just a huge part of like who I am today. And I feel like I would love to just love and appreciate these individuals, you know? Disney brought me a lot of like magical <laughs> thoughts and dreams when I was a kid for sure. And even still as an adult, like I am who I am because of these things. Like and the people of course around me. But you know, watching these things, it really makes you dream. And I'm a big dreamer, so they definitely influenced me so, so much. So, you know, I just, uh, I feel like everybody just needs to take a moment today and appreciate the people that gave us these amazing, amazing characters that we will never forget. They will always live in our hearts. Um, Maurice should be in a tower challenge. Yes, Diego, I agree with that. Um, and that's what I was talking about is it's just I feel like, you know, uh, Maurice and Dr. Finkelstein, they both should have been a bazillion percent in a tower challenge. I, I'm I'm totally OK if they want to add these characters in the season pass. Um, but I would say please do it a, like not with limited time event characters. 
Does that make sense? I just, the it, both these collections are, of course it makes sense. <laughs> of course it makes sense. It's, these, these characters are, are part of events. And yes, they weren't brought in at the time. But when they're brought in after, that was the whole point of a tower challenge. So I, I kind of, I liked what they did with Up. But I think they needed to maybe do like, I don't want to say different collection, but had two different collections like going or something or it just, I feel like if you weren't into up, like, or you're just like, oh, I haven't actually seen that yet. You maybe couldn't get excited about the first season pass. This you can get excited about for sure, but we already have these in the kingdom. So maybe like go like, um, Aristocats or Bugs Life, <laughs> Bugs Life, you know what's coming guys. Um, but just things like that, um, it too the to the game like I just I think it would be much nicer um but at the same time I do see why they do it especially when there's a costume involved and maybe that's the way around it maybe it's the costume for these characters or something like that um you know gets put into it like at the end where it is and then you just have the tower challenge of people don't like or they get the the costume it's like well you gotta earn the character from the tower challenge or from a legendary chest uh, speaking of which, where are all the costumes? Like, I don't have Elastigirls. Like, I just don't have her costume. I only have her Mrs. Incredible suit. Like, I, I'm rattled. I really want this. Drives me crazy. But, uh, yeah. Hi, Krabby. Um, do, 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 do. Anybody remember Scary Godmother? Oh, gosh. Scary Godmother? I've never seen that. I don't even, I've never even heard of it, to be honest. Um, you're still wondering why DMK hasn't added cars yet. You know what? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, but cars could have been another, uh, another one that had been maybe thrown into the, uh, the Kingdom Pass or Seasons Pass. I thought we were calling it the Season Pass, but it comes up as Kingdom Pass. Anyway. So they say, they say Season 2, but it's the Kingdom Pass. So, uh, the Seasons Pass... Uh, I, I think I think because now we're into season two, it's gonna get it's gonna be more clear. But I think season one, it was like, oh, it's season pass, kingdom pass, kingdom season pass. It was like, okay, I don't know, it's all the same thing. But um, we're on season two now. Um, I just took this shot from Instagram um, so that that way I could share with you guys. I actually was doing some posts. I hope you guys got check that out on both Instagrams. One of them was in the story, and the other one was um, I did one in the story as well. But I, I did a reel, finally. Oh my gosh. I was so happy. And yes, I was in the kitchen too. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Um, so I like that we've got a roadmap. I love the roadmap. Hocus Pocus 2 mini event is update 63. Update 64 is the double the permanent content. I love this. However, I want... And I'm sorry, I'm not the only one that wants this. I want land. And I will keep saying this over and over again. I, like, I've got 21 million. I think my my mom is like 45 to 50, like in that range. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's so much magic. We're at the point we don't need magic anymore. Um, and as crazy as that is for people, because I know a lot of you guys are struggling with magic, there is a system and there is a way to get it. And, um... <laughs> you know, it's it's time consuming and it, it does require dedication, but it's definitely doable. It's a lot of millions, though. A lot, a lot of millions. Imagine if we could use like, I don't know, five million magic on the season pass. I would have done it. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? But we need land. We're out of land. We're out of space. Uh, things are sitting in storage. I can't stand that. That really boils me. Um... I want to have my shenanigans out. And it's not like, oh, if I jam-packed it, I could do it. You can't. There's just too much stuff. Uh, I mean, I have almost everything in this game. I know I have to say almost everything. I Really, I, I really do. And uh, it just, it kind of sucks. So I hope update 64, um, that they do something about it. They will not address land either at the moment, which kind of makes me sad um, and worried but uh, I'm really hoping it's coming. And we have a mystery mega event, which I think we already know what it is. Those creepy crawlers are going to be infesting our kingdom. Um, and, but it is a classic. 
and they uh, they are coming. I am actually really looking forward to it. That should be update 65. I mean, things could change. You know, the clues could be off, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was made clear. We know it's coming, though, if it's not update 65. We know it's still coming. Um, I mean, unless it's 64 and they're going to put the permanent content in there um, for the creepy crawlers. But uh, I feel like they're an event thing, you know, especially mega event. I was like, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. But um, we know Bug's life is on its way. 100%. 100%. So, the new season's pass. Sven, hello. Hi, Miklos. You still need 8 million magic slots. It's a lot of millions, and it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. So, this is a look at the new season pass, some of the items, uh, some of the more magical items uh, that are going to be appearing there. And uh, I'm really looking forward to these. It's going to be great. The creepy trees have ventured into the kingdom. Um, and also the wacky lunch boxes. So um, I'm going to go over that with you guys in a little bit on how to do these and how's kind of the best way to do it. And of course, we have the um, Banish the Cursed Dolls as well. Um, they are really cool. I love them. They are super duper fun and fantastic. And of course, here's another look at the Kingdom Pass. You're going to have 800%, not 8%, 800% more value if you guys actually buy it. It does cost real money though, so, you know, kids, yeah, you know, get a job. Get a job. You need it. This game is addictive. It's awesome. I love it, but you need a job. <laughs> um, so <laughs> parents are like, yes, I love this girl. Kids are like, oh, I'm leaving. And uh, yeah, let's continue. So by the looks of it, the daily tasks are pretty much the same. I'm going to go and do some of mine actually today with you guys. I didn't open um, my kingdom so I could share this with you guys. I recorded this yesterday when the season pass was launched. Um, so remember anything you see I recorded last night. Um, but yeah, it's pretty great. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. My mom's already kicking my butt like times two. Yeah, she, she's literally like killing it in the, the leaderboard and she's killing it in the season pass. And I'm like, come on, come on. I like, I just, I don't, I'm like, I gotta keep up with you this time. And she's like, what level are you? I'm like, one. She's like, I'm six. I'm like, oh, well, um, why? <laughs> she's good. She is good. I will tell you. If there's one person who can play the game better than me, it's her. And I should be ashamed to say it, but I'm not. She knows I do it. Amber! Oh, I missed you too, hon. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, so anyways, I wanted to go over some of the weeklies uh, with you guys as well. And I'm going to do that when we go into uh, my actual kingdom. I'm going to read them all out to you guys as well. I would love to hear about your weeklies. So um, if you guys are kind of hearing this, Get your kingdoms open. You don't have to share them right now, but when I start going over my weeklies, I mean, you can share them now if you want to, um, uh, but I'll be reading some of you guys' weeklies out in chat when I uh, when I get to mine. Uh, so that way we can kind of compare and see, because I was noticing uh, the weeklies are different, not by like too much, but uh, you'll be asked to send out like different parade floats and stuff like that. So if you see mine being like, oh, send out Pinocchio and Ratatouille and whatever, Toy Story or something like that, it's like, Mine will be different, uh, potentially. Maybe they're the same. Maybe we'll be twinsies. But um, yeah, it's it's tricky. You're on tier eight so far. Tabitha, that's awesome. Go Swirly. Honestly, Sven, you and your mommy are kicking our butts. I saw in the HP. And she was rattled. I'm like, I have no idea who this person is. This song. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, look out. She's like... I would do this. I was like, okay, you know, just get some sleep. <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys are doing amazing, contributing lots of trophies. You guys are killing it. And it definitely shows for you, Miss MVP. Holy smokes. For those of you guys that haven't been logging into your um, Harry Potter puzzles and spells, please do to keep yourself active. I have been removing couple of names that uh, haven't logged in since August. I took a look and I was like, hmm. But for some of the names I recognized, <clears throat> Seth, 
Becky. I think there's some more of you guys that uh, I won't shout out, but I, I'm just saying, there's some of you guys that haven't logged in in a while. Please do. It's a great game, and I want to stream it again on Twitch and post it as a vid on YouTube, or even just do it as a stream on here. Um, I haven't decided fully what I'm doing with that one yet. Um, but uh, you know what? I, I think it would be, would be awesome if we could get the group, the club, Kitty's Army. To continue to uh, to grow there, it's, it's doing pretty well. Your pot changed colors. It did. It's now blue and teal. Oh, I love it. You know, I have to say that was one of the pots I was most skeptical about turning out, and it really did. It really did, and I love it. I kind of wish that the pot, like the paws, would change colors past the whole year thing. Um, but it's like an unlocking system, I guess. But still, it's like, I'm like, what would you do past black and gold? And it was black and yellow, black and yellow. But realistically, it's like, it's so perfect. You guys are like at the top, but I love all these other colors. You know? I almost feel like you guys should be able to pick your own, but I know it's like not a thing, but it would be very, very cool. Indeed. So I got a gift um, before I even purchased the season pass. And uh, for another magical day at the kingdom, I got a couple hundred happiness from DMK. So thank you for getting me started here with the season pass. Um, I fully expect more happiness gifts in future. <laughs> Just a little boost here and there, you know? Makes, makes things a little extra rewarding, of course. So I purchased it. I couldn't show the actual part of the purchase, but um, it is activated here. And uh, that means I get to claim my reward. So don't worry, guys, if you guys are like, oh, no, I like already started leveling. Do I get my, my other rewards? You do. Even if you buy the pass, like, November 1st, it doesn't matter. Um, December 1st, it doesn't matter. In terms of, like, will you get the rewards on this, the the um, premium. You'll get it. You'll get all of them. You just claim them later. And uh, once you claim it, then they, they all kind of start pouring in here. Now, I did have a chance, guys, to get Splash Mountain, the last character I need in the attraction enchantment chest, the old platinum chest, and I didn't get it again. I was, I literally didn't even leave it on the screen, guys, because I was so emo. I was like, no. I was, I was devastated. Like, beyond belief, okay? It was crazy. <sighs> the gold color paw print. How would you do a gold color? That black and yellow, that is, the one you have, Hichu, that is it. That, that is my, my like, you're the top of the, the royalty chain. It's like, you know, your gold. Yeah besties and our kick butt gamer moms it's true eh like our freaking mothers our freaking mothers i it's so freaking great um i have a question did dmk say what they're doing with doug and the old man explorer <laughs> if you haven't unlocked them in the battle pass Okay, so Sith, I did ask actually during the stream. I know I saw some of you guys there um, when on YouTube. Um, I know I usually do the reactions for it. I will try not to miss the next one. Um, but as you guys know, Thanksgiving, I was like, I need, I needed, I needed some family time. Um, but they did not answer about the season pass. Um, whether uh. uh Doug, Mr. Muntz, uh, you know, the costume, where any of that was going to appear at a later date. I think even if they didn't know, I would have liked to have just like, I feel like that was a pretty important question. You know what I mean? Like that's that's pretty crucial. I feel like they should have been prepared to answer that. Um, but I think, I, I find when they don't know things, they, they don't answer, right? Um, if you ask questions like, Oh, what did, day did you say the update was again? Or um, what time, you know, will the event start? Like, they'll answer those kind of, like, basic questions. But anything that they don't have included in their stream already, they don't tend to answer. Um, and that that's okay. But I, I just, I don't think there's a point in asking anymore. Um, I mean, I, I probably still will because it's me and whatever. But, um... 
like I don't know if there's much of a point asking these questions um, on their streams, at least anyway. Sure, in the comment sections of like their different platforms or on Discord, like, oh, definitely push for answers. Like, I mean, obviously be respectful and whatever, but you know, um, again, land, very important. We need to know what on earth is going on with that. Um, you know, like unlocking um, Everest and things like that. And obviously Doug and the costumes and um, all that kind of stuff. Like, I, th I think we need to know what's going on. Um, I was still would like an explanation to why Scar was in the last uh, tower challenge for DMK. Um, it's It was like almost like a tower challenge rerun. However, Scar wasn't a tower challenge character so i don't know why he was there um and i i feel really confused by that personally um the only thing i kind of thought about why scar of all characters was because scar is coming to disney dreamlight valley but that was the only answer i could come up with um and you know me, I try and think all the time, like different, you know, explanations for DMK for you guys. And I put a lot of thought into this. Like, even when I'm not here, I'm always thinking like, oh, you know, I think I remember seeing a question about this or I get an email. And I'm like, oh, you know, like I'm going to try and address things like this. And it's it's like I, I don't have the official answers. And you guys like some of them I do. Sure. But some of them I don't. And. Uh, I, I think, you know, things like Scar, it's like, what do you do? Like, where, why was he there? It, it kind of almost undermines the point of a tower challenge. We were upset with tower challenge reruns when they started coming, but I understand their purpose, you know? But adding a, a character from a limited time event, I'm like, huh. And then I was noticing Maid Marian showing up so soon after the Robin Hood event in this leader upcoming or this current, sorry, not upcoming, current leaderboard. I was, I'm kind of surprised, you know, like, I mean, I grinded my butt off for her and she's in a leaderboard. I'm not saying it's not going to be as hard, but like, I don't know. I, I just kind of want to know what's going on. Um, with some of these things if there's going to be patterns and if there's not then uh, okay but you know I, I want to know because there's always been a pattern with DMK and I've always been able to follow their ideas and explain when they haven't been able to explain things and I, I feel like I can't do that right now anyway <laughs> I hope Sebby doesn't feed Remy to Scar on Wednesday oh my gosh no no no, no. don't worry that'll be uh <laughs> Scar already wants to eat Woody, so I, I don't know if I can can stop, you know, the the appetite lust there. He's gonna find out though that Woody is not very tasty, but he will talk to you. Um, why was Scar or oh Krabby? You know what? <laughs> yeah, it's actually hilarious. Why was Scar in the tower challenge? I feel like I'm in a position to answer. Why not? Well, he's... Oh, Krabby, it's because he wasn't a tower challenge character to begin with. Um, Gord, he was introduced via tower challenge. You know, um, uh, uh, the hyenas from Lion King, you know, Ed, Shenzi, Bonsai, they were all added that way. It's like those those characters, when they come back, and Gord especially, okay, I'll use Gord because Gord t Tower Challenge reruns have happened so much. It's like, pfft, like we have laughed. Gord has his own pling because he is the most ridiculous character in the entire game. Like ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't even remember who he was. And that's a lot coming from me. I'm like, Gord, Gord, who the hell's Gord? Gord, like he may, like I, I don't know. I would thought knows more, like King Candy. Anyway, Gord, I'll, I'll get back on track here. Finish my segues. Um, I, you know, he he was put in a tower challenge for us to get in, in addition to a collection that's already in the game, right? That was in a limited time event. Scar, he was part of that limited time event. Um, way back when Lion King was done, before I even started playing the game. Over five years ago, actually, I believe. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm in December, end of December. I'm like, I'm at five years of playing DMK. So, and <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, we're going to have such a party for that, guys. 
<laughs> it's gonna be so great. Um, but yeah, no, it's essentially it's like, this is the problem. It's like, I just don't know why. I know why not, but I mean, why was he there? I'm okay that he's there, but why was he there? And does that mean he's not going to be in Legendary Chess anymore? Or you can still get him in Legendary Chess? And will we be expected to see characters like Robin Hood inside of that Tower Challenge? I decided to level up Robin Hood because I knew that Robin Hood was going to remind me to pose these questions, have you guys stew on them as well. I think if you guys can like help me answer the questions we all want to know. Gord's a great character. You know what? This is all I have to say about him. <laughs> oh man, I have no idea what that looked like, but I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Um, is is my bot sleepy? Has he not even been posting today? Wow. Um. Ah, <gasps> Gord turned it off. Gord turned it off. You'll have to play Gord again, Henry. I'm sorry. I literally checked when I started. I'm like, okay, he's just sleepy. I'll, I'll start my thing. It's been three minutes, not doing it. I'm like, whatever. I just refreshed the page. I was like, why is this? It's off. It's Gord's fault. It's Gord's fault. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's just, it's so stupid. So stupid. Come on, Gord, wake up, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're maxed out. You're at home. Be happy. There we go. <laughs> now my bot's going to spam like a troll. Did I get Doug? No, I didn't. Freaking pissed. So I hope I hope we can buy Doug some way in the future. Um, I, I wouldn't have anyways. Even if I had a bot the season pass, I was just too low of a level. Will we get in Kanto as an event? I certainly freaking hope so. Um, I mean, I even did a prediction for it. I was actually pretty confident that we were going to be getting, um, you know, in Kanto this year. I felt pretty good about it. Um, however, I feel like I was, uh, let down a little bit there, but that's okay. I, I, I guess it just means that, uh, 2023, we can, uh, look forward to some great, great, freaking great stuff. Um, I'm going to have to make a pling for this. I don't think I have this as a pling yet, um, but I will. I'll remember to do it after. I'll leave my tab open for it. Um, but anyways, there's the Encanto prediction stream. If you guys missed that, I, uh, you know, talked and also showed some images of what the characters would be like in the kingdom. Um, and of course, uh, you know, what some other options were. And we did have Chiron weigh in some amazing amazing additional information and like ideas and stuff like that so um you know show love to one of our own you know very active community members who loves Encanto um again thank you Kyron for that that was amazing and uh you had so many ideas it was it was it was great it was it was a lot of fun I had uh I had a good time doing that um yeah, I mean, it's always fun doing it on my own, but like I I love seeing you guys' opinions after I do mine. <laughs> I always like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to like screenshot this and like leave it to the side. I'm not reading it until I'm done my own unless I get stuck. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so I'm like, I don't want this to influence my idea. Uh, but yeah, Abby. Oh man, I missed you too. Not that you said you missed me, but I missed you and like, Amber, unlike Sven, unlike Hooky, and Henry, and Seth, and Becky, and I mean, like everybody, Tesco, and Krabby, and like all of you guys, like Frig. There's I, honestly, I I could list so many of you guys. Me close. Uh, can you buy the three elixir attractions that you have not bought yet? Oh, you'd like me to do that? Um. Yes, but let me do that next stream, okay? Let me do that next stream. Um, I'll say why, because I need to have a calculation to make sure I got enough like elixirs to trade in um, for that. I, I definitely have enough for one, maybe two, but I, I, I need to, to go through some of my stuff. 
Um, but I will make a note right now about that and uh, make sure that I I uh, I do that next time. Okay, promise. I may maybe I'll even title my stream that. Oh, <laughs> milkshake stand. Oh, I know the freaking best. The Nightmare Before Christmas, guys, is back in Legendary Chests and Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Um, yeah, are freaking back. Now, I know a lot of people get confused on uh, which one is which. Shock is the witch. Barrel is the guy in the middle. Um, he's like a, a skeleton Frankenstein kind of idea for me. <laughs> That's kind of where, where I kind of put him. And then we've got um, our, our devil as Lock there. So if you guys are like, you know, confused, lock, shock, and then barrel in the middle. So right, left, mid. That's great. Uh, rumor is, is Bugs Life maybe the next update? What do you think? You didn't get all of my little like, like hints. Like I'm like, oh, the creepy crawlies or the little insects or the, those... Uh, what did I say? They were going to be uh, critter. I don't know. I said I had a whole bunch of little like insect joke things I inserted in my stream. <laughs> Damn it. They honestly weren't good enough. Seth. Seth. I, I mean, I'd, I'd love to say you just weren't paying attention, but you probably were. Damn it. That means that means I didn't do a good job with some of my my lines. I, I thought hard about them. I'm not up to DMK standards. They do so good in their streams. And everybody laughs. Nobody laughed at mine. <laughs> fine. Fine. Whatever. It's fine. <sighs> I, I think it's real, by the way. I think it's real. So Bugs Life should go on uh, my prediction list for, uh, for November. Yeah. I'll probably do it after Hocus Pocus, though. <gasps> Amber, you got my hint. Aw, <laughs> yay. <laughs> they weren't good to laugh at, maybe, but maybe you grinned and were like, hmm, okay. I, I got it. Or you're just like, hmm. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take whatever. Hi, Chris. Thank you. I am back. Fabulous. And back. Gamble all. Oh, dear. Bye bye points. The Dory Brain didn't get it. Sorry. Oh, your Dory Brain. You know, it wasn't me. So thank gosh, goodness for that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. You have stream ideas. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know where you would put that in Discord. I mean, you can always... Uh, I guess pop it into just chatting or if it's related to YouTube or Twitch, you can throw them in there. Um, if it's specific to one or the other, I guess. That works for me. You got the hint too? Yay! Yay! Okay, Kyron. I, I feel a little better now. I do. Tesco, you got all the the bug out of the clues. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. I did buy the Hocus Pocus float. I couldn't wait to today, guys, to do it because obviously I had to see Billy. I had to see Billy. <laughs> and I can't say his name properly for whatever reason. But I'll show you guys. I just turned my cam off so you guys can see it, sort of. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start it when I go into my kingdom. But uh, I wanted to address... Um, the how to play these leaderboards um i will show you guys more um you know when i go in and i actually do the steps myself and i'll tell you guys kind of the best order to do it um just because i was noticing that a lot of them cap out pretty quickly so keep in mind you know when you're capped out you'll see it the icon for whatever you're collecting for will turn solid blue and i'll show you guys because I'm sure it'll happen. And then you won't be able to collect any more of the token. Um, and you also won't be able to see who collects. And it won't show on the actual characters. So it does kind of pose like, eh, you kind of, I kind of wish they didn't put a cap on it. It's like, you're collecting these tokens. Just let us collect as many as we can collect. We're already going to have enough trouble as it is. But they cap it. Um, so maybe a minor little thing they could consider changing for us to make our lives just a little bit easier since we do have three leaderboards going on at once. 
and a kingdom pass now that requires all these quests. And we're trying to collect for characters in our kingdom while we are restricted to how many characters we can have in the actual kingdom. And we have no land to have all these characters and attractions out to help us out. Am I done? <laughs> No, I'm not, but I will stop myself. <laughs> I almost turned that into like a little wiggy wiggy wrap there. Um, so the best sort of thing here is I'll, I'll go over the three things um, that we have to do. We have to tap voodoo dolls. We have to clear the wacky lunch boxes and clear the creepy trees. If you guys are experts in this, I apologize for the repeat. Um, however... You might want to have a listen because occasionally I do throw out a few good ideas or a few reminders. People go, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Like the capping of the token or the clue like, oh, once you're done collecting all of them, you can collect for it. This is like the best one. And I do this like every single time where I know I'm done collecting. I will continue collecting those tokens for the leaderboards because they carry over for the next time. That, uh, that particular group comes around. So I'm just letting you know, there are little tricks like that that, uh, you know, you might, uh, you might actually pick up on or be re-reminded of. Uh, making progress in one event will help with the others. However, the voodoo dolls, progressing in that, it doesn't help it any more than that. <laughs> it, just, it just helps with that. However, the voodoos will help with the wacky trees and the creepy trees and the wacky trees... Or the wacky lunch, sorry, wacky lunch boxes will help with the creepy che cheese. Oh my, creepy trees. <laughs> I promise I can speak English. Um, but yeah, so essentially they do help. The one reward I'm most looking forward to is that freaking concession for potions. Yes, potions master. And if you guys noticed, for those of you guys that are Kitty Team members, um, all of you guys, whether you join right this second or you guys have been here for... 25 months like Becky, you literally have access to a potion bottle. I made it an emote just for this leaderboard. And I thought it was kind of perfect for Hocus Pocus since, you know, they make potions and shenanigans. Um, anyway, it's a little sad thing. But you guys can spam that all you want. Boots and cats, 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 cats. <laughs> How did I do? How did I do, Spin? I think I nailed it, right? Uh... That I can do somehow, but don't t get me to do the she, sh oh, I can't even start the first word. The she sells, she, she sells, she, sh she, I can't do, I cannot do that one to save my freaking life. Can't even do one line of it. Even if I'm reading it, it's just, it's such a twister. It's such a freaking twister. I might have finished all of my Archon quests in Genshin while you were gone. Dun dun. <laughs> I haven't even finished all of mine. Damn it. So you already know the story. Oh, I'm kind of jelly. Is, it must be really good. Can you at least give me that hint? Was it really, really good and satisfying? Oh my gosh there they are they actually they look so much prettier when you guys use them damn that's actually a really great you know what that's the first time i've ever shown that emote like it was not wasn't even on twitch last year i've had this emote for an entire year and i i didn't have enough space to share it and this year obviously i thought eh, i'm gonna use it um <laughs> it looks really good Wow, I'm really happy. And yes, the witches are brewing. Um, one of them I called drink, the one with the green face. But I was like, I mean, it references to so many things you guys can probably think. But, um, you know, it's like, is it poison? Is it the wicked witch? Like, what is going on here? Is this just a drink? Is she, you know, <laughs> had too much candy? Like, what's going on here? Uh, yep. Um. Are you good in arts? Um, kind of. It depends. I mean, if I'm use, if you're asking me to use scissors, no. Uh, uh. Actually, in uh, my Amazon video that is being re-uploaded. Sorry, Seth. Um, but that <laughs> you see my ability to use scissors. I try to hide it. 
you know, parental guidance, be advised. It's, it's not not teaching any kids how to open a box. Um, but yeah, this is one of those things. This seashell's tongue twister is based on a real woman. <laughs> Say what? Girl, I wanted more, but they left it on a cliffhanger. No. So in other words, uh, in other words, like continue at my slow snail pace oh and by the way i should be able to do genshin like next week just so you know yeah i i, I haven't i haven't put it on my computer yet but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i can go back to genshin <laughs> if i remember the buttons um yeah so maid marion is a grand prize but if you already have maid marion well get something else so you don't get her twice now abby <laughs> is giving us dialogue <laughs> hmm is it abby in chat is it disguise or hmm not sure not sure um but she's very passionate so i apologize for the volume change so headphone users be warned she gets really excited i will give you guys an extra three seconds to figure it out yeah you need a cute box cutter i got a carrot one so much easier than opening boxes no carrot bath actually my brother gave me a really 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 good idea on how to do a carrot bath <laughs> so i'm i'm going on a hunt for his idea i have no idea if it exists but i'm gonna i'm gonna go on a hunt for it <laughs> If you guys remember the weird carrot bath combo, it's one of those things you had to be there to understand. But I think I know how I can actually do it without spending like a million dollars on carrots. <laughs> yep, it's great. All right. What time is it? It's boba time! You were warned like a minute in advance. I found an awesome place off Queen Street last summer and I go there all the time now. The counter lady knows my order. I love when people know my order. So I milk tea with double tapioca. It's not real bubble tea without extra bubbles. Oh, and taro flavor. My favorite color is purple. In drinks, too. You know what? Me and her at least share that a thousand percent. And we both love overalls and headbands. So, yeah. Boba time. Send Abby to enjoy her bubble tea. And, yeah. So, I did do that. I think she's ready in my kingdom, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure. Unless I screenshot the dialogue, but I don't think so. I think she's waiting for me in my kingdom. Um... Yeah, Penny is now ready to freaking be leveled up. So, Penny, what does my mom call her? Penny a la vodka or something like that. <laughs> it's from it's from the movie Spy, um, with Melissa McCarthy. I it's one of my freaking favorites, like for comedy movies. It's it's so much fun. Like I freaking love it. If you guys haven't seen it. It's like a bazillion percent worth the watch, especially ladies. I'm telling you, it's hilarious. I mean, dudes will love it too. I know a lot of dudes that love it, but I feel like I know more girls that have laughed about it, like, and know about it, like hardcore, and have seen it more than once. <laughs> um, it's not a chick flick or anything, but it's like, you know, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Anyways, you have to, all of you guys have to watch it. Um, what is going on with the female mouse? Ah, she is still going. And I have dialogue I do have to do for her in a different stream because, um, yeah, I, I, I unlocked her and stuff and it didn't get put in the event part of the stream. So I have that saved on the side that will need to be done um, to, you know, get that whole process going. But, uh, yeah, I will be sharing that with you guys shortly. It was just, there was so much going on in the kingdom, I just, I just didn't want it to get lost in translation. I've been so clear in all of my videos and streams and titles and stuff. And like, I just, it's like, I am not, I am not 
going to break my tradition after I've done like a thousand Disney Magic Kingdom videos. Okay? Like no freaking way am I, am I changing that. Like it's crazy how much content I have, guys. I'm just letting you know. It's crazy. Okay, so we have dialogue here from May. And um, yeah, this is basically part of the, the dialogue that comes up after the limited time event. So I just, <laughs> I literally didn't tap any of it. Um, I was trying not to anyways, like all together. But, uh, you know, I had to check my game and I clicked it by accident. And anyways, here it is. Ever since I turned 13... I've talked a big game about being my own person, making my own moves, all that good stuff. But now that I've embraced the panda, it's like I actually mean it. Even when I'm just talking around as like regular me. It's like having a super cool secret identity. Well, except for how basically the whole neighborhood knows about it. <laughs> but I love this like pose. <laughs> but that extra spring in my step, that cool confident swagger, that's pure 100% new May. And nothing can stop new May. 24-7-365. This is side quest send May to show off her swagger. I definitely don't think I've done that. Um, and of course, May's mother... Ming Lee needed to have her dialogue as well. Um, I'm going to read some comments before I get into this because like, I get so immersed in dialogue and forget about doing anything else. Uh, <laughs> um, did, 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 oh, I don't think I missed that much. I don't think I missed that much. You have 52. Oh, 512. <laughs> little, little typo. You know what? Can we just, can we actually just throw one in there for you somewhere? Just to give you some, I, I mean, if you put the one anywhere in in your 52, it gives you more. So, yeah, I mean, one, five, two, five, one, two, five, two, one, whatever. I mean, just give you, just give, just one. Just give the number one somewhere. And <laughs> you'll, hey, you'll, you'll be winning, right? Right? You have five more ears to welcome Bianca to my kingdom. That's awesome, Kat. You know what? I have to say, it's been really tough. There's not enough things to, like, people to collect for her and, like, the enchantment shenanigans is like, what? Like, and I feel like next what's coming is like, oh, I'm sorry. You can't, like, actually have this character until you enchant the attractions first. <laughs> I'm, like, getting worried it's going to come to that. Like, to the second enchantment. Like, sorry, you need, like, 45 relics that, like, are, like, 1% chance. Or isn't it, like, 0.2? I don't know. It's some, like outrageous chance of actually getting so yeah I feel like that's on the horizon at, for us at some point sorry to you know be a Debbie Downer on you there but I mean seriously um <clears throat> so have you been demoted to safe scissors till you prove yourself responsible with scissors you haven't even seen what I do with scissors yet maybe I should cut that part out Technically, you haven't seen it, so it's not too late. I can make myself look super perfect. I'll be like, cutting box. <laughs> and then just cut. <laughs> oh, look at that. The box magically opened. Poof. Too bad my wand wasn't, like, sharp at the end, because then that would be great. Um, Yeah. Pen knives. Honestly, I can't even, those like little, what are they called? Like Swiss army knives or like, you know, those things that like the knives fold into each other. Um, are they, I guess, pen knives, right? I think that's what they're called. Um, I've never owned one, so for, forgive me. I've seen them though. But like, I've tried to like get those out, especially for like a bottle opener, right? You'd think super handy, Okay. It is way easier to just freaking shove a, a knife in the top if you have a cork thing, right? And you can't do it. It's way easier to just stab the bottle rather than like trying to get the thing open. I'm telling you, I cannot ever get those out. I literally give up. I don't know what it is if like pocket knife. Yeah, yeah, pocket knife. That's it. Thanks, Henry. Um, I hope you don't own one of those yet. 
Uh, but yeah, like try and get those. Like, like you can't. You just can't. It is just ridiculous. It was based on a girl. Oh, the she 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 seashells she shells she shells. She shells. I can't. Uh, I'm really trying. I'm such a failure at that. Like literally. Um, it was based on a girl that was looking for seashells to sell through tourists, and she found dinosaur bones. Oh, I thought you were saying it was about like women. Like we are just hard to say <laughs> what on earth that's what i thought you were saying first i'm like okay we're a little complicated i suppose a little simple but maybe a little complicated Ugh. i like every single individual on this earth but the poor pocket knife honestly well how do you get it out they just stay in there and you're like eh. whatever and yes every time i try and get things open and i can't do it it's a little Sound. Oh, the worst is with water. You guys have probably heard it though. How many times I tried to open a bottle? It never works. Uh, Steffi, watch the heat. It's amazing. Melissa McCarthy is in it as the main character. Oh, yes. Uh, Sandra Bullock, right? I've seen that one. Um, it's been a bit, but I've seen it. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> she is such a baddie. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's do Ming, Ming Lee here. I'll try and get uh, a little more sophisticated here before we get really silly because I feel like I'm on like the tip there being like a little like, you know, just about to jump off the edge of, of silly town, you know? There's a lot that people don't understand about the, uh, the incident at, at the Four Town concert. Officially, there was a gas leak, a loose parade balloon, and stadium-wide mass hysteria. Unofficially, my family and I have been very strongly advised not to talk about the details in public. No matter how much some of us might take offense to being referred to as a parade balloon... <laughs> Why does that feel like a Voldemort thing? <laughs> oh, anybody who's seen the very last Harry Potter movie knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's like it's the most memorable freaking thing of that entire movie. Anyway, you have to open it from the top and not whatever the hell that was. <laughs> Abby, what? You guys have never even seen me open a bottle. Thank gosh. Sevi, remind me not to get you angry. What What would I do? Hold the, the pocket knife and be like, I will open. I will open this someday. When I get this open, I'm coming for you. <laughs> like, I'm never going to get it open. I'm never, ever, ever going to get it open. Okay, like it's just, I have tried. I have spent, and with different ones too. I don't know what it is, but I'm like, aren't you worried about like breaking a nail or like it's going to damage the skin on your fingers? Like I value my hands. But anyway, <laughs> and maybe just like your finger's going to rip off by trying to open something like that. It's like, I'm not Billy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not Billy. I understand the need for secrecy, but it can be isolating. Sometimes I wish I had someone outside the family to talk with. Aww. Talk to us. I'm sure we all want to talk to you. Common ground. Send Ming to search for a sympathetic ear. I think she's going to find one. I think Tiana's mom is going to be that person. Maybe Cinderella, too. Those are the first two characters that came to mind. Yeah, I would, I would, I thought for like a half a, cent, a second, Rapunzel, but then I was like, more like she would talk your ear off rather than the other way around. And she might freak out when you say panda. She'd be like, oh, what's a panda? You know, like, but uh, did cross my mind. All right. <laughs> we have another one here. 
We have another one. I know. I'm sorry. It's all the secondary dialogue, and we have to do it before I go into my kingdom. We have to. Momzilla moment. Yo, Momzilla's great, okay? I love Momzilla. I mean, she's a little scary. And we can all be Zillas, but Momzilla, yeah, she's she's pretty freaking awesome. Um... Well, they are indeed on a parade float. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the pocket knife, not the bottle. Mm. Well, um, what? Like, does that even make sense, though? Why not the bottle? Why not the bottle? Hocus Pocus is in Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's not era at least for me it's not um but i really 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 look forward to it showing up there someday honestly i would go crazy if an update there showed up i love dreamlight valley but in disney magic kingdoms it is definitely and i'm i'm gonna show you guys the characters uh hopefully in like how many more clips do i have here oh we're approaching the end less than five minutes but uh She's just asking. I was assume it's no, no, it's okay. Don't worry, hun. I I was assuming you were thinking um, it was either going to be a question or it was going to be like Disney Magic Kingdoms instead of Disney Dreamlight Valley. So I was like, okay, it's one or the other. So I'm just gonna like answer both. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Yeah, don't worry. Um. Yeah. So Hocus Pocus one day. Fingers freaking crossed. Guys, guys, be nice. People, she, she, she just put it as, like, differently. It's fine. It's fine. We've, we've all put exclamation points instead of question marks at one point or another, okay? It's all good. It's all good. Shh. <laughs> we've all, we've all been there. Or sent the wrong message to the wrong person. Every time you think, okay, make sure. You think about it. How many times in your life have you sent a message that you wish you didn't send to that person because you meant to send it to someone else? Mm hmm. And then the question mark versus the exclamation point makes like it seemed like it's nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I've, I've done that. I've done that. Oh, the backtracking is. It's not fun. That's not fun. Uh, yeah. Especially, especially if it's like, you know, oh, you're cute. And it's like, I'm sorry, what? Why are you hitting on me? Oh, I'm not. Ah. <laughs> well, then it just adds like more questions, right? All right. Anyways, let's let's continue here. Um, you're all cute. Um, ugh, stupid braces. If only I had them for a little while. And I keep forgetting they're there. <sighs> Especially when I want to eat something I'm not supposed to. Who even makes those rules? Well, you know what? I'm not just going to sit down and take it. I'm fearless. I'm a rebel. You know what? Don't. Just don't, guys. Do not eat, like, freaking, like, uh, toffee or um, those little hard candies your braces off like don't don't do those things okay don't even do coke i know they say you just brush your teeth but just don't just just you you got braces on they're super expensive do not be a rebel you're insane just just think how hard your parents or yourself whatever had to freaking work to get those on your face okay i'm telling you see these pearly whites they just didn't appear themselves <laughs> But you have to treat them nice. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. Cutest little community ever. Really, we are. We are so great. Yeah, we are so great. We've done it tons of times. Sith, we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> so we call Sith cute. <laughs> Gum. Tesco gum. Bad. Mm -mm. Don't do it. I don't care if you're like, oh, I'm only going to do it on like the back. Just get it out of your mind, okay? 
double dibs for Fortnite tomorrow, triple dibs for Fortnite tomorrow. Holy, am I like in hot demand for Fortnite? Oh my gosh, you guys like wanna play? I feel like I need like, um, I don't know. I, 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 wanna, I wanna do something special for you guys soon. I just, I feel like, I feel like I wanna do something like, real, I don't know how or what, but, huh. You guys are so awesome. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of something. Anyways, this, this chick's gotta stop being a rebel, okay? Her and her little toque need to go home and, and think life over again. And also, it would be bad for the environment to throw out this whole thing of gum when I'm not even halfway through the pack. Just give it to your friend, like, ugh. It wouldn't be bad for the environment unless you, like, chewed it and spat it out on the ground, okay? It's not bad for the environment. It's wasteful, but, like, it's worse by the amount of water and, like, materials that you would waste and electricity when you need to get your braces refixed. See? You want to talk about saving the environment. I think I think I need I think me and her need to have like a little chat here. At least floss after. No, you just can't do it. Don't, you know what? Okay, maybe I'm being like a little sensitive here, okay? But like technically the age on this game, they they haven't changed it yet, right? Um oh that reminds me. Someone remind me about Star Wars. Just somebody type, uh, anybody, uh, just everyone types Star Wars age thing or whatever, and, and I'll remember in a minute. Um, but but basically it's just like, with things like this, when you're, you know, like, I mean, most of my audience doesn't have this problem, but they're, you know, but there are some younger people that do play this game still. And it's like when you read dialogue like that, if somebody has braces, like, oh, wait a second, I can just chew gum and like floss after? Like, I mean, even teenagers are a bit, you know, I mean, we've, uh, for those of us that have been a teenager already, sometimes uh, teenagers, like, we think it's a good idea. And then after we've done it, we're like, oh, shit, that was a really dumb idea. That's like when you start realizing your ideas are dumb. Um, or like, the best ever and you kind of start to identify whether you're like good at making decisions or really freaking shitty and <laughs> you know what I mean like okay I need to listen to my parents a little more uh you know what I am way smarter than them so it's just like one of those things but anyways it's like freaking braces things like gum and braces like oh all I have to do is floss after and it's like fine I'm sorry if I had had braces on and I had done this and my mom found out like that DMK gave me the idea to chew gum and just floss after with braces, I'm pretty sure she would have, like, made me delete this game. Like, I, 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 I know it's just a game and whatever, but, like, you have to think. Dialogue like that is dangerous. Unless you, like, truly know and actually really care, right? And as I said, braces are expensive. Think about who is putting them on your face, whether it's you or somebody else. Like, you know? Anyways, I have a lot of respect for my teeth, so... I'm a little over the top, but, um, oh, the Star Wars age thing. Thank you. You guys are freaking awesome. See, I would have never, ever, ever been able to freaking remember that, to go back to it. Um, uh, you know, I'm just going to start doing that. Be like, remind me in a minute. Um, so the Star, I was realizing with Star Wars, remember how I've been like, where is Padme? You know, um, why couldn't we have like, uh, you know, Anakin and stuff like that. So the the problem is, is actually on Disney Plus. If you guys look at the age rating for um, uh, A New Hope and, well, actually, essentially, EPs 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, okay? Um, especially. I, di I didn't look at 7, 8, and 9. Like, I, I just, I'm not as, like, in love with them. So I, I just, I didn't check that but I looked at Clone Wars and like um you know uh yeah Clone Wars and uh Bad Batch by the way all very good um but the thing is is EP3 is actually not PG interesting fact so technically speaking PG since they are I thought they were PG-13 since there's blasters like guns and stuff right people are 
dying technically and like all the time. Um, I guess there's no like blood and stuff and I see, I guess they're not really showing like any alcohol too much in those types of things, right? It's like mostly made up but anyway. Um, so anyway, it's PG-13. So you you actually have a different rating on the the EP3. So I just thought that was really, really interesting. And that's probably why we are not going to see maybe, um, you know, Darth Vader show up as like hot Anakin. So um, I, I just, I, I wanted to kind of like put that out there in the universe that, you know, some things I think will not come. And if you guys are wondering um, what the name is, it's uh, Revenge of the Sith is... Uh, is uh is the one I'm talking about is PG-13. So I don't think it will show up in the kingdom. So it's just an interesting fact there um that you guys kind of uh like me need to take into account for what we we have expectations for. So um anyway, sure it is an alcohol, but it might be. <laughs> <laughs> Sven, that's good. That is freaking good. Um, okay, so I have one more round of dialogue. Sorry, I got on a little uh, side thing about Star Wars there, but um, DMK giving a bad advice. Abby, in terms of the braces thing, I mean, there has been a couple of things in this game where I've been like, oh, this is really questionable um, of if it should be there, you know, like how it's put, but I feel like that was directed at like, I'm going to be a rebel. I'm going to chew gum with brace. Like, I just, I feel like that, that didn't need to be there. Or if it was there, then at the end of that sentence been like, you know, her realizing like, ah, oh, you know what? That is a really bad idea. And like, maybe went on a rant about, you know, pick, as I had said, like picking off the braces, you know, or not picking off, uh, essentially it can peel off. Right. But it's like, you know, using electricity and, um, you know, water or whatever to clean all that gum out later is, is just as bad for the environment. So maybe I shouldn't chew gum. Like something like that. I don't know, but it's just, it's one of those things where I just go, ah, can we just either tweak it or just ditch that whole thing? I know they want to try and relate, but ah, it just, it's one of those things kind of bothers me. And as I said, I might be overthinking it a bit, but yeah. Um, Elish, thank you very much for the sub on YouTube. Welcome, <laughs> crazy. That was a great, that was a great moment. Um, unpopular opinion, making the bed is a pointless chore. You know what? Actually, I would love to do that as like a game. Like on Twitch or something. Like somebody give an opinion and like something like that. Huh. If there's a game or something like that out there, somebody post it like in uh, the just chatting or something like that. Or uh, yeah, just chatting is probably good. But anyways, I would be very interested to see if there's like something like that to give like conversation for. Um, yeah, I might even do it tomorrow or whatever while we play and stuff. Um... You know what? I think that it's important because it forms a sense of discipline and structure and cleanliness. And there is nothing better, personally, than at the end of the day when you're exhausted, peeling back the sheets of a nice, clean, fresh bed that's all made and then tucking yourself in really tight and just, you know, cozying up. It's just, I feel like there's a sense of like security in the bed at that point. When it's all over the place, it's like uh, the comforter is not going to gonna be on the bed in the morning. It's going to be on the floor. So are most of the sheets. They, they just never stay. When you make the bed, it stays. And it's, it's rewarding. It makes me feel like oh, I did it for the day. <laughs> you know, I just, I feel like getting into an unmade bed makes me not feel as productive and good about myself. Anyways, stupid opinion maybe, but mine, never the, the same. But um, yeah, yeah. It, it, it does seem like a pointless chore, but I mean, hey, so does putting the toilet seat down. But hey, it's disgusting when you leave it up, first of all. 
and it is just a bad idea. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. Especially if you visit a house and you do that, it, nobody likes it. Regardless of when they say, oh, it's no big deal. It's a big deal. And it, you can really tell a lot about somebody when they do that. I'm just saying. Anyways, maybe an unpopular opinion, but just remember all those germs, all those germs you let out. I only make my bed when I wash my bedding. Plus me and Nathan have two different sleep schedules. Yeah, I can see with two different sleep schedules how that's hard because I was like making the bed like all the time. Um, yeah, no, Abby, I, I, I guess I would totally understand that type of schedule. But for I guess for me, I'm like at the end of the day, peeling back those sheets, you know. And if you have like a heating pad or like thermoforce something like tucked in there, keep it warm, right? You need the bed made. You have to have it made or the bed will not be warm when you get in it. I'm very <laughs> sensitive. I'm always cold. So, yeah. Um, all right, let's do emo child. The first thing about being a Nightfall fan is that it's not just about the books. It's about discourse. Rumors, theories, questions. Should have been opinions as well. But <laughs> who, oh, sorry, who, who's, who's, Whose <laughs> rules of vampire vampire what? Whose rules of vampirism? Vamp vam, vampirism is it vampirism? Vamp 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 <laughs> vamp vam, yeah vampirism right? I don't think I've ever said that word out loud. I wonder, I wonder if, uh, trust you old Siri would know. <laughs> kind of want to ask her, but I don't want my phone leaving the screen. Our best. What do you think Roberta Mayer's favorite breakfast food is? Oh. Roblox! Yay! New Twitch follower, guys. Welcome to the kitty team. If there was a sequel trilogy, would it have swamp monsters in it? Would the swamp monsters kiss? Oh, that's good. Gotta write that down in the margin. This is my backup copy. I can do that. Swamp monsters kiss. Is this is this what we're trying to like? Ooh, that's some like weird shit. Um. I think she's got problems. I thought she was the sane one. Afterwards, uh, send Priya to mark up her copy of Nightfall. Her second copy, it really should have said. I leveled up Carl. <laughs> hey, Carl. I leveled him up. Anyways, I was quite uh, quite pleased with myself. Um, Let me grab it. Sorry, every time I switch to the game, it throws it on screen one. This is green too. So, anyway, here we go. Vamp, vamp. I know. I, I, I was more worried. Like I was saying it right. Vamp, vampirism. <laughs> Why do I get myself in these situations? I should look this up beforehand. <laughs> is the belief in the existence of vampires? I believe there are vampires and witches. I think they're in hiding from us. <laughs> 75 happiness. I feel like they're being more generous now with happiness. They're worried. Oh, and by the way, guys, remember how we're like, oh, tokens are so much harder to like get now and stuff. Um, they know it. DMK knows it. And they're trying to figure out how they can make. You remember like the... Um, your uh, happiness level, right? If you were an ecstatic, you had like the bonus, right? Um, for drops. So that right now isn't being applied to the game. According to them in their live stream um, last week, last Friday. Um, they did bring that up and I'm happy that they did. I think that was like probably one of the few things I was like, oh, thank you for addressing this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, so they don't have that sorted yet. So for this Hocus Pocus event, we are going to be having the same troubles as we did for Turning Red and uh, 
I guess, uh, up the mini event for that too. Yeah, I guess both of those. We, uh, we had that adjustment. Things might have been a bit different and trickier. That would explain a lot. So don't expect much for Hocus Pocus. You are going to have to work hard. Mark up her copy of Nightfall, Annotations, and Books. Oh, no. Spin, you're one of the people like, oh, don't wreck the book. You know what? You're Madam Pence. I've decided. I know you're the only person that could fill the role. I've never been able to find anybody that could fill the role. Madam Pence. <laughs> the librarian at Hogwarts. Yes. Yes. If you're wondering who your your uh, HP character was, we found it. <laughs> uh, buy me clothes. Um, the three elixir purchase for next stream. Thank you for the reminder. I have it written down, so I will a thousand percent uh, look into if I can do all three purchases next time. Yeah, that'll be that'll be fun. That'll be like wiping out the elixir shop. That'll be cool. Wipe out the elixir shop. Make a mental note. Potential stream title next time. Oh, the anniversary gifts have started today for Genshin Impact. Yes, everybody start, make sure to get in and freaking claim those gifts. Thank you for the reminder, Abby. I, I forgot. Oopsies. Yeah, make sure you do your dailies too. Log into Harry Potter puzzles. Log into DMK. Log into Fortnite. I mean, log into Dreamlight Valley. Do we have enough to do? Do we? Oh, and make sure you like my stream. <laughs> the easiest thing on the list to do. You're like, check. Done. One out of the ten. <sighs> Crazy. Um, what character are you? Uh, you know what, Henry? It'll come. When it comes, it comes. I, I don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> Spin accepts. That's great. She'd make a way better uh, Madam Pince anyway. But, um, yeah, anyway, there, there, there you have it. Okay, so I should be able to send this out now. Yay, I can. Okay, so I've got the Hocus Pocus on. I'm not going to forget, like last time, uh, with turning red to actually make sure that the parade float was on. I do have Pinocchio on because it is part of my um, my weekly quest, which I'm going to go over with you guys as promised. Um, I had Ratatouille as well. I think that is on here. Um, yeah, Ratatouille is on. Um, I had to remove some like Star Wars. I had Star Wars on there for like ever. I wanted to put Nightmare on, but I don't know what I'm going to get rid of at the moment. I kind of need everything else, so... Unless I don't need up. Hmm. I do. I do. So, unfortunately... You know what? I almost want to say, and I hate to say this, I almost need more. More prey, uh, prey float slots. Wow. And this is, like, literally the cheapest ever. 3,500. That's awesome. Go Phyllis! Alvin, thank you so much for the 11 months. Being a kitty fan. Thank you, hon. You know what? That means that means next month, if you continue your little streak there, you're going to have a different color paw print. You're going to have the fancy one. Holy smokes. Let's go. Thank you. Let's show some extra love and chat for Alvin, guys. Yeah, free wishes are the best. And remember, guys, if you... For your birthday, log in on your freaking birthday because you do get, um, I know this is a bit of a side thing or whatever. Maybe some of you guys don't really care or you already know to log in on Genshin. Not Genshin Day. Your birthday on Genshin. Anyway, on Genshin. Because uh, you get a cake. So, and each year it changes. I've actually been saving mine for whatever freaking reason. But, yep, you can get cakes from Genshin. It's pretty useful. I like free stuff. It's very, it's very useful. Purchase the next available slot. There are no more slots. Crabby. I'm done. I, I purchased them all. Yeah, they're wiped out. I got, I got nothing I can do. So it'd be cool if we could have them like 
all out. I wouldn't even care if it costs more magic at this point. I mean, look at my amount of magic. It's quite impressive now. Um, okay, that pop-up, super annoying. Like, I don't mind for the legendary chests when they come or whatever, but um, I have been noticing that particular pop-up for that, like, bundle. It's just, like, I want to opt out of, like, getting that pop-up. It just, it's not useful to me. I'm never going to buy it. Because um, I already have all the stuff, so. Um, yeah, certain deals I wish I could just, like, opt out of. For sure. There. Oh, Billy. So if you guys notice, Billy is actually trying to catch like a bug. And um, instead, he just like loses his head. So, yeah. And then he's got to grab it and put it back on. But I think that is some pretty great animation. And there's our um, awesome panda girl. Yeah, panda braid. Whoop, whoop. They are all kinds of special weird, but I freaking love it. I kind of wish they had to put the CN Tower there, but they didn't. But they have the Canadian flag. Hey! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Who's a Canadian here in chat? Woo! You're watching the new Spikes family show? Oh, I'm jelly! I have to wait till it comes out in English. I need it in English. It's very important to me that I watch it in English. You'll feel special. You are special. You're very special to us. All right, so there's all my prey flows. I'll let the last one kind of go by. And you may see one of the little dolls, the creepy little dolls behind. It's like a voodoo doll. Um, yeah, anyway, the voodoo doll is right there. Um, okay, I know you want to come back, guys, but you have to wait your turn. So this is what I was showing you guys earlier, and I, I walked you guys kind of through. Like, you need to do each of these um, uh, leaderboards because they help each other out. Um, so obviously, if you guys, like, don't have Maid Marian, she is going to appear here at the end at 50, okay? So she is an event reward, so you have to clear 50 um, to get that now you I believe anyways because again I can't prove it but based off of how they used to do things before I already have made Marion so that's why she's not there but um you either get the two attraction enchantments or made Marion you will not get both rewards um so it's just the this is kind of that incentive for people again that don't uh need made Marion so Canadian hype for all Canadians ah! <laughs> so great um, okay, so you'll see here when it's like blue like this, I can't tap, I'm tapping it. See, tap, 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 tap. I can't actually see who collects or anything anymore. Um, and I won't, it won't drop any more of those keys or any of the hearts. And the hearts, and I can, I'll prove it with one of my little, uh, little voodoo friends. It's just gonna give magic, two magic and that's it. So you, you actually have to, um, you actually have to, clear in order to get it um okay did i just screw up there because it's potion bottles fudge so yeah okay so these i made a mistake just there okay so these guys collect potion bottles and this is where i think they should stop the restriction on how many you get it, it kind of it irritates me a little bit because we have the respawn time which by the way doesn't start it used to start after you like clicked one it, it's not starting now until you clear all of them. And then you'll get the timer. So I was noticing earlier, like, uh, I think it was like super freaking early this morning. I noticed, I was like, what the frig? Why can I only send like a two out, right? Because I've only tapped Mickey. I couldn't send the mare because I had a cooldown. But I'm like, ah, that's impossible. But it's only because last night I had only tapped one. So there's only three in the kingdom, right? But so I should have been able to do that. But um, yeah, really, really annoying. 250 happiness. Yay. Okay, so I completed the milestone there. So each one, and again, this is, I know I'm jumping around, but this is the problem, okay? So these guys are going to, um, you know, help. I want to just prove this here. So see, they collect the potion bottles. But if you're capped out on potion bottles over here, right? Mind you, like, I know you would think, oh, well, why would you be capped? But again, if your spawn time's off, you're not gonna get it. 
So I'm like, and they capped it at like three. And it's like, it's just, it's not, it's not enough. I feel like it's, it's a little bit uh, like unfair, I think, to do that. Um, it's not even like 10 or something like that, right? Or even five, like... We're sending them out to help with the thing, but yet it's not helping with the thing because we're maxed out, so. Eh, it's, it's a little bit annoying. Now, again, the spooky trees, they're forest fiends. They don't, um, they don't help with any of the other events. Kind of like the first one, um, it helps with the other ones, but it doesn't really help itself unless you're talking about for milestone or leaderboard, right? So they do help each other out, but yet, again, they, they have their limits. Um, realistically, the, like, most useful, um, thing you guys are probably going to be going for is Maid Marion, but if not, then you're going for the Potion Bottle. Um, now you do have to be number one, though, if you are going to be here. Uh, the results aren't very high, at least on mine right now, but you have to be number one. And somebody has four already. And I can't gem through these, these spawn things, so the like once they respawn so it is going to become a little bit of an issue i think um if i want to be able to keep up i almost feel like i need to get a little bit ahead to you know crush some kids dreams and get them to quit um i think that's probably going to be my best way to get out of all this the voodoo dolls are causing mayhem they they really are they're uh they're losing it okay so i've got everybody out now obviously if you don't have a character yeah, it's not ideal, but you can still do it without. Um, however, Zero is going to be very useful here because he is the only one that is going out for two hours. Goofy and uh, Woody are going out for four. So again, it makes Zero very useful if you're checking your kingdom quite a bit and as well trying to get like the things to respawn. And again, I still have one of my kingdoms. So basically once Zero goes, then that four hours is going to restart. So it's almost worth, like, if you have enough for that final round, it's almost worth gemming through just to get it going. Do you know what I mean? So it's just, like, it's so crazy. And this is what I don't like about the leaderboard. Anyway, does anybody else, like, find it frustrating when, again, especially for um, the potion bottle, especially, that uh, you're you're trying to get the chance of the potion bottle but yet when you're maxed out over here right it's just like this isn't gonna drop anything so all of that work to collect the keys and the hearts from our little like voodoo friends it's like you know what i mean it's just like ah these voodoo guys it doesn't bother me so much we have seven right and it's just like they 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 pop up whatever right like they're not particularly insane or useful for anything else but these are crucial for the net for for the following leaderboard like crucial I'm just saying it's it's kind of crazy I I'm I'm very like nervous about this and I already made a mistake and I'm very upset at myself and I'm sure it's not gonna be the last time I do it either Whew, it's crazy I'm first on my leaderboard with 11 spooky trees yay how is everybody doing with your leaderboards um, I logged in really late last night because I, yeah, I, uh, wanted to do a video, but then I was like, ah, I'll just stream it tomorrow. I chickened out. Um, <laughs> it's like, I'll just stream it. So I was like, I'll record it. Um, but anyway, uh, where was I going with that? Oh, right. So... I know that my amount is less, but I also want to be on a, like a weaker leaderboard if I could. So I took that gamble. I think it will pay off um, realistically. Now, in terms of like, do I care about the other leaderboards? I'm going to tell you guys, no. I care about the milestones because there's happiness involved. And for my season pass that I literally put over $30 into, I need, need, need these happiness, okay? Like I can, I, I, I did not do that great last time i still had like 50 levels to go um for the season pass so i am very nervous about this whole thing i know this whole pass is a gamble and i'm committed to checking my kingdom like i used to like check it a lot and it, i know this is a lot more tedious but yeah you think you have three or four trees 
I want the concession, but I'll try for it when it comes to the chest. That makes sense, Finn. It's it's one of those things that you kind of have to make a decision. But I really want that. I really want to redo my like spooky section. So like I really want it. But if somebody was being ridiculous and had like freaking 50 already or something like that, I'd be like, yeah. I mean, I'd be happy tying somebody, but you know how people are. I mean, I got I got tricked before and they like freaking tricked me at the last minute. I was so devastated when that happened. I never want to feel that again. Never. Never. Um, you know what I'm going to do just to get these spooky things going here? I can I've got enough skip tokens um from the season pass. It didn't cost any gems. Those things are a blessing. I love those skip tokens. They are by far one of the most useful things in this freaking game. Like, I think they're freaking great. Give me more, please. Mary is premium out of the sisters. Yes. So 500 gems is what we are looking at for that. So we are going to have it in a real life bundle as well. But uh, just so you guys know. Um... Again, in terms of the voodoos, nothing really interesting, again, except for happiness. So milestone is way more important. But if you guys are gunning for, like, some extra chests, sure. Like, get to the top. But I don't think people are really crazy about placing, um, you know, on this particular leaderboard. Which is fine. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, <laughs> see, right now, the freaking hearts. Like, I can't get any more. The voodoo, again, not the end of the world, but those keys, that could be just devastating. So realistically, what I like to do is send characters out before I like max out on them. And just remember, these guys are all four hours except for Pete. So um, again, I, I'll try like not to tap if I can. Just so that I don't like have them cap out because that is just like the worst. I, I think I'll be fine this time. Tinker, there you are. Um, but yeah, typically it could be a little bit dangerous. Oh no! See, it's not gonna, it's not gonna show up now. See, so like I have to remember the quest. It's four hours, so she's gonna tinker with things. But again, now I need to like have this finished. So if you guys have Daisy, Daisy's super useful um, for this quest. Also, oh, I mean, all of you guys should have Daisy, right? Like main storyline shenanigans. Um, the mayor, though. Even more helpful if you guys do have him. He, I believe, still in the Nightmare Before Christmas chest, but he was from a tower challenge. Um, yeah. I remember that when he came. It was uh, one of our first, like, freaking tower challenges. It was pretty great. Um, next week. Yeah, next week. So I'll... Um, I don't think it's in the game, but I will show... No, there's no... So the patch notes usually show up here, guys. However, they are not going to be um, there at the moment. Or at least they're not for me. Maybe it's different for you guys. But it'll show up as an exclamation point. Um, however, our first... Where is the list here? Um... I wish they just had it in a list and so they kind of put it in like the um like leaderboard events. I wish leaderboards were in their own area and then like so were the Sanderson sisters, but they're just like not. Um Hocus Pocus oh here. Hocus Pocus, yeah, they have it. Never mind. Hocus Pocus mini event, October twentieth to November fourth. Um October twentieth, we have Sarah. Um, unlocked for us to start collecting for. And then Mary is going to be the premium um, on the 20th. So that is going to be next Thursday. Um, then October 22nd, we have the chance to, as long as you guys progress in the event uh, storyline, you will have the Sanderson's house, which will become available. Then we'll have to use our event currency on. And then on October 29th, we are going to have Winifred Sanderson. The event ends on November 4th. And again, since this is all limited time stuff, you guys will not be able to get it unless you get it from a legendary chest or leaderboard or tower challenge or some other way in the future um yeah they've <laughs> they've added more of a variety there for us to get stuff sometimes but i would almost guess we it could be like a bit before it turns up again um 
But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of sad the ghosts didn't come back this year because they were such a hit. They were fantastic. The animation was amazing. The welcome screens were on another level. And like, it's such a shame to not have these ghosts like come for people to get. I mean, they. I think they could have made a killing from those sapphire chests if they had a thrown one into the seasons past. People would have been like, oh my God, I gotta get one. You know, they would have bought the season pass just to have a chance of the ghosts. I think that's that's what I believe. Um, you know, and again, if people already had it, then maybe it's just like, you know, you open a chest and you're guaranteed to get like 25 gems or 50 gems or something like somewhere in that range. Um, but yeah, you can never have enough. Um, you're only playing the Banish the Cursed Dolls ones. I'm just, I'm going for the happiness. So yeah, this one is great for sure, for sure, for sure for the happiness, the Banish Dolls. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the milestone that like super matters there. Uh, and again, if you do the, uh, lunch boxes, right? Those little spooky little lunch boxes. Um, if you at least get three, you will get 250 happiness, which is super useful. Um, I would definitely say that's the most important. Um, for me, as I said, you know, I want the happiness, which I got here today. I got the, the two. Um, however, I want this potion one, so I am going for that. Actually, I'm tied in fourth right now. Perfect. Um, yeah, it says there are zero in the kingdom, so I do have to wait um, until they respawn. Um, but yeah. So let's go over. I think that covers that. Does anybody have any questions on, on the leaderboard thing? The spooky chests are coming back later this month. The spooky chests are coming, but like, what is in them? Is it the ghosts? I don't know. I didn't, uh, I didn't catch any of that. I don't remember them saying any of that, but, uh. They really, they really, really need to make sure that people actually get those this time. Because they're, they're just too, way too good. Uh, let's do the dialogue with Abby here uh, before I go into the season's pass. Again, be mindful. Abby makes me get a little loud. Mmm, sweet, sweet, milky, terrific goodness boba time is the best once stacy frick from french class saw me drinking this same drink and she was like oh that explains so much about you you must be caffeinated like all the time but i said girl it's decaf i'm just like this which shut her up for the whole day <laughs> it was amazing Quest complete, boba time. Should I limit my sugar intake though? Nah, <laughs> that's no fun. <laughs> Type 2 diabetes is not something you need to worry about. Okay, anyways, uh, <laughs> moving on from that one. I really, okay, I did level up for the season pass, yay. Okay, so now I am finally at Okay, so I got some more tokens. Decoration. <gasps> the hair shrub. <laughs> I, have, I have chest schizophrenia from this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does everybody remember the hair shrub curse from like way back? Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, well, anyways. It's crazy. Air drop. <laughs> anyways, moving on. Let's, let's hope we don't get it again. Okay, good. We got an evil bench. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the Hairshrub Graveyard. I have sold so many of those, but yeah. Um, yeah, those freaking hair shrubs. I, I, I could have had a graveyard at one point. <laughs> I really, I really could have. Oh. 
Back when DMK wasn't too much of a chore. Ah, good old days. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, when I used to just spend money because I wanted to. <laughs> like, really couldn't stop myself. Yeah. <laughs> $100 for Oogie Boogie. Sound familiar? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, well, I don't need to ask you this one for a chesty game, guys, because you already know Priya. It's vampire romance uh, novel there. You know it belongs to Priya. It says it in the freaking token. Spoiler. They could have just called it, like, the vampire romance novel token, but whatever. Um, well, I will ask you, though, for chance at a shout out here for you guys. Um, Disney Parks Relic. Name me. One attraction that this relic would help to enchant. Now this one, I, I'm going to give you guys a little warning. This one always screws with people. Always, always, always screws with people. So be careful. Be careful. It's, it's a screwy one. Ooh, yay, some shears. Okay, so that is a thing so apparently I did not send everybody out for the shears uh almost okay okay this works eh this is ridiculous um yeah it's still waiting Still waiting. I'm scared somebody's gonna like pass me while I'm like streaming and I'll be so upset. But Space Traders, yes! Space Traders, actually, Space Traders is like right here. Um, Space Traders, it does require a Disney Parks Relic. You would think it would be a Toy Story, but it's like not. So, totally crazy. Um, let's see. Jack and Tesco, you guys both said that. Um,. Let's see, the dressing room. I don't have the dressing room out. Astro Blasters. I, the dressing room uses, um, oh my gosh, we've totally had this conversation before. Uh, I forget. I actually forget. Okay, uh, let's see. Is it is it even gonna tell me? It's not even gonna tell me. I think it uses Wreck It Ralph. I think it uses Wreck It Ralph, but I feel like I can't be sure. Somebody put it in checks. Like I can't remember. Shoot. Feel like I feel like it's Wreck It Ralph. But Fantasy Fair is one. Yes. Yes. Who said Fantasy Fair? I definitely saw that. Uh Tabitha. Cat. Yes. It uses Wreck It Ralph. Okay. Thank you. Spin. <laughs> Not this time. Good guess though. It had it had me stumped. It had me so I was like, shit. Should have gone. Should have gone with my gut on that one. Ooh. Okay. Next freaking level. So let's talk about the seasons past here. I am now at a at a seven. Now as you go along, it's gonna be more and more and more of a requirement for happiness, right? Um, but for now, it's pretty mild. Um, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze uncontrollably, but when that happens I'm like I think I have control but I don't know mute button <sighs> keep you on close close uh, standby here um, so for the dailies they really haven't changed uh, 30 character activities so just like send your characters out to do shenanigans um, obviously complete all of them and you'll get a bonus gather magic uh, 20 times so I just need to use like the gathering spell and I'll finish that open 10 chests that can be tricky um, you know, you do get some spawn around your kingdom. There's add ones. Uh, you can open them. Uh, honestly, shouldn't that have counted, like, inside of my... 
seasons past because like I just opened is that all I've opened though I guess maybe that's all I've opened okay so it has counted yeah because I guess I haven't opened uh really anything else 10 wishes I find this one to be very difficult um <laughs> I just for whatever reason this is one of those ones that just does have a hard time getting completed yeah it's just, there's not enough of them I find that like come around or sometimes you just don't have any room for them in the kingdom or your characters are doing other stuff so you just can't, you know, get out of that. Um, and then of course the convert two of the elixir items. Super easy. I've got like an abundance of them right now but I feel like maybe it's like a secret thing that we need to like keep a bunch for at some point and they'll be used for something cool. But uh, <laughs> you tried, you honestly couldn't remember. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you, um, Amber, Krabby, Tabitha. Thank you guys for, for clarifying, that, clarifying that for me. I appreciate it. You're in Fortnite camping in a tree right now. Wow. Henry, that is some cool shenanigans. Don't get sniped. I got sniped in a tree. Actually, I've been sniped in a tree many times. It sucks. It sucks. You think you're all stealthy, and then you get sniped in the head, and you're like, so much for that plan. All right, here's another chesty. Ooh. Okay, so Orville. What collection is Orville a part of? 321 go. Alrighty, so happiness. So sometimes I don't mind. One of the things I was thinking about happiness, guys, um, that I kind of wanted to put a feel of how you guys maybe thought this would work. Um, but you know how, like, for example... Um, you know, Mickey, I mean, I know he's doing like a leaderboard thing right now. Maybe it's not like the best example, but let's say you had like maxed out all the, uh, the common tokens or something like that for, who did I just send out? I just sent somebody freaking out for happiness. Um, okay, let's, let's use the March hair. Let's say the March hair had like another token or something that you could collect for like, let's say a two hour quest, but the one hour you don't have anything for, and it's like no token or anything like that. Um, and you're like, ah, but I got to do the happiness. Ah. It's like, I think maybe because the one hour obviously is like the given most people would choose that. But I think it should be that if a character requires happiness, it's just any quest. So it's like if they need to go out to like collect for like a token, they can just go collect for a token um, and it get, still gets happiness. I, I think this whole thing of like, oh yeah, let's send them for 60. It's like people will choose it most of the time. But if it does require a token thing, you, people sometimes will choose the token over the happiness. Depending, especially during like an event and stuff like that, it would make a huge difference, I think. Anyways, I want to put the feels out, but what you thought about that as an idea. You just got sniped, Henry. No. <laughs> I'm, did I jinx it? It wasn't me, obviously. It wasn't me. The rescuers. Yes, Tabitha. Oh, let's see. Tesco. Kat. Kyron. Colin. Hello. Um, Amber. Yeah, Sith. Res rescuees ranger you know what i know you're just messing with me but i know what you meant yeah so you have to buy the kingdom pass and then get the black flame candle and that's how you get the sanderson sisters no um so the sanderson sisters are actually coming in a limited time event on the 20th of october so next thursday um they are going to be coming to the kingdom the one that is going to be premium is going to be Mary. So Mary is going to be, we believe, 500 gems and will be in a bundle or two as well. Um, you know, probably one will get her to like a two, the other will be to a three, and then you can just like buy her basic for 500 gems type of thing. Uh, it'll be something like that, right? Um, and then on the 20th, we'll be able to start collecting for Sarah. And then on the 20, what was it, 8th? Uh, 29th? I think it's 29th. Shoot. Uh... 29th I'm gonna open my patch notes here quick 29th there we go um Winifred will be unlocked and we can start collecting for her but you obviously have to like you know complete stages of the event to unlock the next character and the attraction obviously that's in between there 
Um, but yeah, no, you can earn you can earn them and stuff like that. So if you guys, you know, watch your ads, send your parade floats out, open your chests, you know, obviously like claim your rewards, like log in every day for your calendar. You can get like four gems from that. Obviously the season pass, like on day one, you get like five gems, right? So that's like super handy. You can get special chance rewards on chests. Like there's there's lots of ways to get some gems. Level up characters. That's like my little way to to um, get gems pretty quickly, like especially if you need them just for free in your game. The two ads, like there's there's lots of th little things that you can do and they do add up, right? Um, save those gems and try and get merry. And now is a great time more than ever, um, you know, to try and be able to do that. And if you guys have the season pass, you're gonna obviously have more gems. So 45, 50, so you'll definitely have 50 gems, um, you know, by the time you reach level nine, which, is totally doable for everyone by uh, by the 20th. So, I mean, maybe you'll even be higher than that. So, yeah, you can earn them, which is absolutely great. <laughs> I smell children. You know what, Tesco? I can hardly wait to to do, uh, do the Sanderson sisters. It's gonna be so great. Chesty, no tokens, just a tiny, eensy little bit of frickin' magic. I love Cobra, the Cobra DMR. Oh God, I don't even know what that is. I need to, I need to get on there. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow, I need to start doing my quests and uh, kicking some butt. Kicking some butt. I look forward to hearing about everybody's level. Rescuers are the mice, and the rescuers rangers are Chip and Dale. Oh, I thought you just made a, like an error, like a spelling thing. Oh, I gave it to you. You should have just stayed quiet. Would have never known. <laughs> never, ever known. Could you imagine? My whole life I would have gone through and just not known that. That's unbelievable. That's a huge bit of information. <laughs> Do I want to do that? No, there's no point. So I have to wait and I cannot gem through this. This really upsets me that like I can't use, not even gem. It's like when I say gem, I think now for these things, I mean use the skip token because I'm not really like a gem person. That way I like saving my gems, you guys. No, I'm like a bit of a, let's, let's not spend them. But uh, you can kind of jump, like I can't even through here either though. Like, it's, it'll stop me. It needs to respawn for another three and a half hours. So it's super important if you guys are, like, really trying to, like, be good on a leaderboard or milestone. They've stopped you from being a psychopath, right? Um, and again, like, remember that person that had, like, what was it? It was, like, a million or something trophies, and it's, like, literally impossible Remember I made like such a big deal about it during that stream. I was in so much shock that somebody actually like actually got away with that. And they all, they did. I literally could have won it if that one person hadn't have had like a bazillion trophies. There was not enough time to gem through that. Like even if you wanted to, you would have had to have the ability to stop time. But so I think this stops people from, or maybe it's even meant for those people that like, I hate to say hack, but like, I think in that particular case, it was a hack because we even checked and it's like, they could have bought like a car. Like they spent, I think when we calculate, they spent like over $30,000 if that was the case, um, which I a thousand percent doubt that actually happened. Because again, the time factor was ridiculous. There was just no way. So I don't know. Anyway, I think that kind of stops a lot of this um, from happening. So I guess that is like maybe one perk. But uh, yeah, you got to stay on top of it. You have no choice. Uh, I'm honest. Maybe, <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe to a fault. Yikes. 
In two weeks, it's your birthday. Happy early birthday, James. Okay, let's see here. One sec. What? You are playing against Jeff Bezos? <laughs> what? Oh, 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 with spending 30000 on on oh for the leaderboard i forgot we were, had talked about that <laughs> yeah i guess so eh frig but even still you just didn't have enough time like even if you had that kind of money i we did the time calculation of even if you were to gem that quickly it you just don't have enough time like you can gem all you want but if you run out of time like for it to make sense it doesn't work um, I'm kind of nervous to send people out. Maybe it just seems super stupid. I don't know why. I'm just like, wait, does that person actually do something that I need them to do right now? Yeah, see, like, the shears. Holy smokes. Um, I hope, oh, the Fortnite, I loved it. It was very exciting, Kyron. Very, very exciting. I freaking loved it. Um, do, 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 Remy. Well, I know what I need you to do. So ridiculous. I love that the Incredibles help with the common token, but like having two characters out to go collect, I just don't have the room for it realistically, but I am just doing it anyways. It is so ridiculous. <laughs> yep. Hopefully you remember to use my code, Kyron. Hope you remembered. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. <laughs> There's a, a new gun called the Explosive Goo Gun. I feel like that belongs in Rick and Morty. Yo, maybe it's time to bust out the Rick and Morty skin, huh? Have I been getting the clothes from Dreamlight? I have a little sneak peek. Um, okay, I'll, I'll tell you and then I'll say what I want to say after. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have so many freaking things going on in my mind. I have to pick and choose what I want to say first or if at all. Um, but yeah, I got a pirate hat. I was so happy. The other thing, okay, so what I was gonna say is, how would you guys feel about, like, if the days that I don't stream, or whatever, uh, for Dreamlight, uh, I put up a video of the shop. Just what's there, and, like, buying everything, whether I have it or not. I thought, maybe it's stupid, but then again, I was like, I feel like that's something I would want to watch. Like, as a, you know, a viewer, I would be like, oh, I want to know what people had in their shop today. Like, because I'm always thinking that, you know? I don't know. Just, I, was, I, wanted to put, I wanted to put the feels out there because, like, I was going, oh, I, I even recorded it, too. I was like, ah, oh, you know, like, Frig, I wish I could, like, share that, like, what I was seeing right now. But I'm like, I'm not streaming. <laughs> so, Yeah. Don't worry, Dad. <laughs> Using your head. Using your head, Karen. I like it. Sally. What was Sally being used for? She was being used for collecting for something. Shoot. What is she used for? Guys, for the key. How, how long is it for Sally? I think I have a screenshot of it, but like I'm in my game right now streaming it, so I can't remember. And I don't want to like open it to look. Bye, Winnie the Pooh. I don't have room for you right now. No. Mm -mm -mm. 
60 minutes. Great way to get lots of magic. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, uh, show off her swagger. I guess... You know what? I'm gonna take a screenshot of it because I know that I'm gonna need to remember what the name of the freaking quest was. So four hours. I'm gonna do that next time. Yeah. All right. So at least we can um, get some of these going. Now let's bring back Penny with the new... I forgot to take you guys through the entrance. It's because I already saw it but not the welcome screen. Penny is now level six, and you guys got to see the new background for the welcome screens. It's not really new, we've seen it previous years, but like it's new back out with this update. I love it. It's so awesome. I, I love the diversity with those, and hence why the see it again button could be so useful to be able when you max out your characters to like be able to see them come into the kingdom at different seasons and stuff. It's It just would be really, really cool, you know? They do such a good job with them. I just, I wish there was a feature there that like, if you're done at a 10, you know, you get to do it for free. It's like you're, you're a little perk, you know, for being that committed to the game at this point. But, uh, yeah. Lock, shock, and barrels. Barrel get the keys. Sally doesn't help with any of them at all. Then why? Uh, really? She doesn't help with anything. She doesn't help with anything. Huh. Well. That's a shame. Just Oogie gets the shoes. And lock, shock, and barrel. Okay. They get keys. <laughs> Since we all have different shops, it would be cool for something to watch. Okay. Thanks, Abby. I appreciate that. Do it, do it, do it, Sith. Okay. I like the feedback. I'll wait for a few episodes so I can, like, binge watch them in a playlist. <laughs> I, you know what? I already have, like, a few recorded. So it would, it would be nothing to just put them up. Like, I wouldn't be in it or anything or talking. But, yeah, just... So you guys get to like see. Yeah, I could do that. Fun. I know when I'm streaming, you guys get to see it live. So like whatever, but. All right, Penny's now level six. Gee, this is real nice. I think she's just like the biggest sweetheart ever. I freaking love that girl. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Um. Oh, I should have said, oh. Doesn't Ham go for something? I think he does. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sending him just for the one right now. I thought he did something for the leaderboard, but that's the only problem. We can't even see them. They, like, block it off for us to see. And it's such a little amount, like, ah. It's one of those annoying things to remember. A shark rammed into my boat and it went so far and before the boat landed on the ground, and then I died to fall damage. How are you here in chat if you died? That sounds like a very aggressive shark. I couldn't keep a straight face. Henry, that sucks big time. <laughs> Anybody who's like joining is like, a shark ate my boat and I'm dead. It's like, right. We need to get Bruce out, clearly. And then they can go ahead and eat Mama Odie's boat. It's in pretty rough shape as it is. <laughs> Bruce can eat Mama Odie's boat. It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not in us now, that's for sure. Yo, when the guys used to freaking Bruce, do you guys remember that glitch? Bruce's head used to pop up like right here. Like, and <laughs> just, ah. <laughs> if you had his head pop up at Mama Odie's boat, it would be great. It would be great. Oh, I miss that glitch. I miss it. It was freaking awesome. 
Um, should post a preview of my princess room and bathroom on the Discord dream light. Should you? Girl, you don't even need to ask. Yes, please. I'm gonna sh I want to share it tomorrow if that's okay as well. Um, I haven't really done anything with the rooms, but uh, I would definitely like love to see for some ideas. I've got some more stuff, but I think a lot of it's becoming a bit repetitive. I'm I feel like I still am missing a couple of like other things, you know? I was like, you McCain shark, you MF shark. <laughs> How does McCain come up as an autocorrect for MF? <laughs> Yo, Henry, that makes that is your phone's messed, or all phones are messed. Jeez, Jack. Hey, what do you play? What? 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 Anyone play Hogwarts Mystery? <gasps> oh, oh, I used to. Before it deleted all my progress on both my Gryffindor and Slytherin. Ugh. So annoyed. I had the freaking Patronus outfit I spent money on and everything. I tried to re-get that, but... Well, I tried to connect it to Facebook and it deleted my account, so... And I was not the only person that went through that. This is why you always, always, like, memorize or write down your account numbers for things, because... It is a problem. A big, big problem. Let's bring Robin Hood back. You will not believe how low of a level Robin Hood is. It's almost embarrassing. Almost. I was surprised. Yeah, he was a six. I, I seriously thought he was like an eight. I was like, ah. But um, yeah, those common tokens, they are crazy. I guess I could use elixirs though. Mind you, I noticed that um, up and uh, turning red, they are not available for us for common tokens yet. Kind of shitty. But we can at least use it we, if we want to. Before, I would have said never, ever, 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 ever in your wildest dreams waste your elixirs. They're too valuable on the common tokens. Nowadays, though, I'm like, I have a lot of elixirs and I have nothing to use them on. Well, I mean, I guess I do have a couple of things I could get, but realistically, after that, there's like nothing. So, you know, you could technically... Technically. It's cheaper than gemming anyway. When are you streaming Dreamlight Valley? I'm streaming it tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. It'll be fun. So like 11 to like 2 or 3. I'm putting like in between there. I'll, uh, I'll stop. Because I'm going to stream on Twitch at 4 tomorrow. I want a nice long Twitch stream. Be fun. You're still in the first year. Aww. I remember my first year, I made my character look really young for the first year of Hogwarts Mystery. And like I had the hair like super short. <laughs> it was so cute. I freaking loved it. And I loved my second year hairdo, but I still always kind of missed the short hair. And I was like, oh, she like lost a little bit of like the sweetness and she's a little older. And then after the second year, I just had a hard time picking the next hairstyle. There's just so many at that point. Anyway, Robin Hood is now level six. I only wish I could do more. Yes, I know. But you can do that. Now, Carl. Carl, why are you so low? Eh. Oh, I love it with the, the background. So cool. Well, would you look at that? He's a level three. I thought he was like a four or five. Oh, look. Maybe not a five, like a four. Yeah. Are they building some kind of amusement park around here? Because I know one when I see one. Roller coasters may not be my speed, but people forget I worked at a zoo most of my life. You get a sense for how they're laid out. Where to put concession stands, how to keep the kids entertained. Hmm. I wonder what kind of setup they're going for with this place. Ah! <laughs> Is that like an insult? Carl, I don't want to hate you, but like, I kind of resent that comment. What do you not like about my kingdom? I feel like he doesn't like it. Professional opinions and Carl to explore the kingdom. 
I don't know if I want your professional opinion. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> My kingdom's adorable. Carl. There's a couple of things I might want to change in it, but it's adorable. Like, look at this Winnie the Pooh area. It's freaking adorable. Hmm. Madam Mim in the kingdom. Yes. I love that idea. I had downloaded it months ago, and I was a Hufflepuff, and I played a few days, deleted it because I was busy with other games, and I downloaded it a week ago, and now I'm a Ravenclaw. Love the common room. Oh, my God. You know what? I have not tried playing as either one of those and Frag. I feel like with um, Hogwarts Legacy, I think we're going to see a lot of Hufflepuffs come out of the woodwork. I really do. I think because of what they've done with their common room, people are going to go crazy for that. And I think um, Ravenclaw... I think we're going to see a lot of Ravenclaws too. I think Gryffindor is going to be the least popular. Maybe that sounds ridiculous. I'm just predicting it ahead of time. Because, like, I know I'm a Gryffindor. I have to be Gryffindor, right? It's like, it's my dream, right? I'm playing as me, you know? But, um, I, I hate to say it, but I kind of, like, I'd love to play as each. If they have different, like, save options... I a thousand percent, a thousand percent will go ahead and do like different accounts if they, if they let it, like I will definitely love to do that. Cause like one of the things is, is like, you know how there's that whole like evil curse and everything like, oh, do you want to learn Crucio type of thing? It's like, I would say no. But the thing is, is, like, I know everyone wants to see me say yes. So I'm kind of like, if I was playing as, like, a different house or not as myself, right? And it's a real problem because I want to play as myself. <sighs> Carl is the new Miguel. Do you think he was insulting my kingdom, though? Like, honestly, do you really think that's what he was doing? You exploded yourself with a goo gun? That must have been hilarious. Literally hilarious. Oh, you know what's in um, the freaking shop? It's uh, uh, not Mama Odie. Um, what's her name? Why is Hagatha coming to mind? It's not like, <laughs> help me. Um, anyways, but her broom. I want her freaking harvesting tool broom. I want to beat some little kids up with a broom. I think it'll be hilarious. I want the common room. It's covered in the books. It's beautiful. Yeah, it, it's honestly, Hufflepuff was like probably the least known about common room in in Harry Potter. So I think it was like one of those things that like they had a lot of creative freedom and I think they really capitalized. Like I think in both games they really did. But like I think nothing really will beat what Hogwarts Legacy is doing for Hufflepuff. Baba Yaga! Thank you, Henry. What did I say? Hagatha or something? What was I thinking? I have no idea what I was thinking. The Spell Sweeper? I believe that's what it's called. Mingli! Actually, the emote was pretty cool. The new, um... I saw the new icon. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's super cool. Um... Ming Li is now level four. The ancestors would be so proud. Oh, no dialogue? Damn. Search for sympathy? Nah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so technically speaking, I have like three hours before I can really do anything useful. That's so ridiculous. Hmm. I need to level her up, and now she's gone for, like, hours. Okay. Well, who's around? Figaro? No. Jiminy! No. Pinocchio! No. Is everybody out? Oh, my gosh. Well, this isn't good. Like, everybody I need to level up is, like busy now man oh my gosh 
No. I forgot I was saving these freaking level ups. Oh my god. And now I can do it. It's the time of year, but they're out on quests. Ah! That's so exciting. Okay, so I don't think I've really got anything to level up right now until they come back. <sighs> I know, it's a curse. It's a bloody curse. Oh, maybe. Maybe 101 Dalmatians. Let me see. Mm, who did I just bring back? I can do Lucky. I'll take a screenshot for us. Okay, Lucky can go. For 24 hours. Beauteous. Need to max it. Oh, we're not even. We're not even going there, James. We're not doing it. <laughs> I'm traumatized by them. Traumatized. Okay, so the Sanderson house, guys. So we saw the Sanderson sisters in the shadows. We've gone over all that. This is the Sanderson house. It is going to take eight hours to build. So this is like one of those like eh things. Um, however, it does give time for currency, sleep, all that kind of shenanigans. So if you time it up right, you can actually get some shut eye. Um, and again, you will have to wait until the 22nd. Yes, for the Sanderson house. Um, and again, if you do want to actually get, um, oh, look at all that I did. Yay me. Get the attraction in the season pass. You are looking at having to be level 25. So realistically, can this be done before the start of the event? I don't see why not. We have like a week. Um, I think think by then 25 could be definitely reasonable. I mean, I'm already at 7. I know the happiness is going to go up a bit after like the tier 10. But I think we might be able to do it, if not at the start, during the event. So it could end up being, um, you know, useful. Now, will it collect currency or anything? It's not going to tell us at this point. Um, why did it like jump again? There we go. Okay, so... But it will generate... 129 magic every eight hours so basically like the other one it's gonna be like eight hours and yeah it'll it, this one at least will be built instant because this is like the premium but like inside the past so instead of buying it it'll at least be there so um yeah that'll be sorted now the pass is super cool i love this black flame freaking candle though like oh my god that is like the best token I think we really have like some treats ahead of us. The one thing though that I'm kind of like, oh, I can't believe I didn't start with this, was taking you guys on a tour of the Halloween Kingdom. This doesn't happen very often and it is amazing. It is probably one of my favorite things about this game is when they f actually decorate the kingdom. Um, and we have pumpkins, we have jack-o'-lanterns there, we have some like ghosts and stuff like that. Oh look, Carl's checking it out. Look, he's literally staring at the ghost. Is he? Uh-oh. He's becoming a sleepy cup, Joe. He's talking to himself. Or maybe he thinks it's like a person in a costume. Maybe. He, he's definitely talking to the ghost. Okay. Mm anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, so there's like cobwebs, that kind of thing. Now, of course, though, they have to have some tombstones. These were added, actually, um, I think it was, was it the year before the ghosts started coming? So the bride was the first character, it came, um, not last year, the year before, and honestly, like, probably, like, definitely top 10 welcome screens, for sure. Um, and of course, the lollies, I love these. I hope they keep those forever. The trees obviously changing colors. Um, and then you guys may notice there's an acorn <laughs> right there for Chip and Dale. Um, I do wish it was a little bit spooky, but they're doing it for Thanksgiving, right? For us Canadians. Um, and I guess Americans, you guys have it in November, but we have our Thanksgiving. Um, or we just had it, right? Last week. So, yeah, basically... 
you know, it's it's a nice little touch, I think, to kind of show that extra little bit of love there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love how they decorate the kingdom. I feel like they could definitely incorporate a little bit more. Night mode, I was seriously hoping for when I watched the trailer and stuff like that for the game. It looked dark and things were glowing and I was like, night mode, we're getting night mode. But we didn't get night mode, which I still kind of hope would happen one day. Like, uh, you know, again, something we can turn on and off at will. But um, at least this would allow us to kind of see some pretty interesting shenanigans. And, uh, you know, it would uh, it would allow us to look at things like, you know, the jack-o'-lanterns, like glow at night and, and things like that. So... I think, I think it would be a nice little touch. Now, remember, this is only going to be lasting. Um, well, it last two updates is the question. Uh, I don't know yet. But we know that come, like, December 1st, it will change and we will get snow and Christmas decorations, which is great. And then after that, the New Year's update will still have, like, snow, but they'll remove the Christmas decorations. And then we'll go back to the green, which we have literally the rest of the year. And you guys know it super duper well. But they only keep the stuff to the front here of the kingdom. I mean, I think they could throw a couple pumpkins or something like that in the corner. I know we have this like all year there, but uh, I don't know. I think it just, it would be one of those things they could do. But I do like that they decorate Main Street. I miss the rainbow or like the glittery 50th anniversary. Um... <laughs> Uh, ground it was so cool and I kind of hope they do oh my god these kids are concerned oh no they're all concerned that he's talking to a ghost um anyways add it for like spring come like Easter I think it would be a lot of fun but yeah you've been playing Fortnite for like two hours so like my entire stream then <laughs> basically no that's good that's good Uh, I believe the black flame candle is the common token, but I don't actually know for sure. I would assume it is, though. I mean, when you think about it, it's kind of perfect for the three Sanderson sisters, right? The black flame candle. So, yeah. It look the black flame candle looks like the ones in HP puzzles, <gasps> and they are a pain to get rid of. <gasps> Sven, you are so right. They look exactly like that. Oh my god, that is hilarious, the comparison. <laughs> it's so true. So true. Wow. Oh, and let's not forget, I didn't point out the little bats there that are uh, around Walt Disney. Aww, my gold. I love it. What is on that guy's head? Oh, it's a bird. It's a baby Kevin. Yo, he's got a baby Kevin on his head. That's so freaking funny. You know, I've actually not seen that yet. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Little baby Kevin <laughs> on top of his head. Uh, American Girl Spirit, thank you very much for the $14 super chat. Thank you so much. That was very, very thoughtful. Make sure to go and check out American Girl Spirit, guys. You might be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god. I was so crazy. I, honestly, I wish we could have had that gift spin that you made with me giant but i think that was my fault because my little thing was like small in the corner oh my gosh so ridiculous make sure make sure guys to go and check out ags and uh drop uh drop a sub for me if you haven't already please 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 and if you guys haven't already make sure you guys like the stream as well Oh, I, you know what? I have to say, this is, you know what? I was trying to think what, I was like, just now, I was like, oh no, I don't have a quest of the day picked out. Ah, Carl did it for me. Carl, what did you do? He's talking to the ghost. 
He literally did the quest of the day for me. So this quest, guys, is called uh, Look at Ellie's Photograph. Okay? So he's looking at the photograph. He's having a chat with this uh, ghost decoration. I think he thinks it's a human. Um, anyway, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just pretend um, that he's not losing it. I'm losing it. Um, I know you don't want to move things in your kingdom too much, but if you put the new attraction in the very front, kids are more likely to play on them. I had kids on the Tower of Terror. Really? So if I go ahead and put the shenanigans right here at the front, they are more likely... Hmm. You know what? That is a good idea. I used to have Tower of Terror back here, like forever. And then Winnie the Pooh, um, I think it was because Simba and Nala were there and I didn't want to block it. Um, and then I never found a good home for Tower of Terror again because it blocks Pete golfing. And then like over here, it was blocking like part of it, like seeing the chests and stuff like that. Or like, um, what else is it doing? Oh, it didn't really fit in the corner that well or something. It, yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. Um, but Sven, you know what? I actually I actually do want to move some things around. Um, I'm not happy with my nightmare section uh, because there's too much stuff now. And especially with the Sanderson sisters here, I'm like, more than ever, I need to move it. Um, I'm very upset about my Winnie the Pooh section. And I, but I, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I will still want to leave that for now. But, um, I think that realistically, after Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh all the way through, I know this whole area is going to be taken up with like nightmare and shenanigans, but I'm thinking this whole area is going to have to be all spooky, um, especially if I add Coco. And maybe it's just for the season, but Frozen looked amazing over here and I'm kind of tempted to put it back. Big Hero 6 does look pretty great, but... It doesn't look as good as what I had going for Frozen back like a year ago. Um, yeah. Uh, which Hocus Pocus Witch is your favorite? Well, that is a very, very, very easy one. I love Sarah. So played by Sarah Jessica Parker. She is hilarious. Um, especially, like, I think I first fell in love with her, um, and it wasn't her, the singing voice, which I do love at the very beginning, where she's like, come little children. Oh, I can't do it the same way she does. Anyways, it's super, like, chilling, and I love it. Um, but it's when she reaches up and she goes, my lucky rat's tail, and you're like, oh my god, and you see the little kid, and she's like, ah, like, she's, it's the first time you actually see her, like, super scared but it was just how she did that and you're like yes and I totally am anticipating one of her character tokens to be a, a rat's tail I'm just saying but <laughs> Sarah because of that moment <laughs> but um yeah what is what is everybody else's hocus pocus uh character favorite character I mean when you think about it Winifred because she goes book which is obviously awesome or let's see Mary when she's like I smell children <laughs> you can't do you I can't even attempt her personality or her voice if I don't do the like I smell children <laughs> like you have to put your mouth like way over taking some serious practice I'm telling you <laughs> Billy that's true but we we're talking about favorite witch favorite witch Billy is awesome though Billy is awesome uh, I mean my I think Billy's the most memorable thing is when she was like go after them Winifred was like freaking out and then he's just like Ugh. and he just like he's like screw you fine you know it's just I don't know it was one of those moments where I'm like ah Billy 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 have I seen Halloween Town? I have. I actually watched that this year already. 
And uh, it's great. It's so sweet, but I've only watched the first one so far. I tried watching the second, but I fell asleep, so it doesn't really count, I guess. I think I fell asleep in the first, like, two or three minutes, so um, <laughs> I think that counts for a rewatch. But the first one, I love it. It's so great. It's so great. Winnie. <laughs> Let's see. Sarah's my favorite too. Sarah. Go team Sarah. Yo, I should do a poll. I'm going to, after, after my stream, I'm going to do, um, I'll schedule my Dreamlight Valley, I guess, after I do that. I'm, I'm going to put a poll up tonight and before, um, my next DMK stream. Okay. I, I am going to, I'm going to have that up and I'm going to tally all the votes. I will show all the comments and everything. Okay. I'm going to do a post and I'm going to say, which is your favorite? And I want you guys to weigh in on that. You will have to wait until I get my dream light scheduled. But maybe put it on your to-do list tomorrow. If you guys don't want to wait up because I can't give you a time. I have to, I was, I have to think whether I want an image or not. I feel like I want an image. But I don't need it. But I kind of want it. Depends on how, how long my thumbnail takes for dream light, I guess. <laughs> So Team Sarah, it looks like Sarah's got quite a few. Um, is Thackeray Banks? Banksy. I love Banksy. But we're asking about witches. Um, Seth, you like Winnie? Okay, so I didn't see any for Mary. Is that right? Let's see. Colin, Kyron, Tesco... Cat, yeah, Sarah. So we, a lot of us like Sarah. James. Okay, I'm seeing a bit of a fan favorite here already. Please do that. Okay. Thomas, I will definitely make sure I do that before I go to bed tonight. Um, but yes. I will put up a poll for the favorite Sanderson sister. And as I said, I will show all comments and everything. But American Girl Spirit, that was amazing amazing question thank you very very much for giving me a brilliant idea god you're like the best hmm i wonder why that is <laughs> the nose nose right the nose nose okay that was super corny amanda amanda it's you hello how are you Mary's funny when she rides the vacuum. Yes. And I love, oh, I don't want to spoil it. Let's just say she always rides a vacuum. <laughs> no matter what kind of vacuum it is. She always rides a vacuum. Uh, it's, I mean, it gets her in trouble, though, but it's also very useful. That's a cat. I knew there were some of you guys that hadn't watched it, so I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it yet. If, if you tell me, like, next Halloween and you're like, I haven't seen it, don't spoil it, I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm sorry, plug your ears. But I'll, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it a bit. Um, yeah. Long live the vacuum! <laughs> or what, what thing is it? The vacuum. Oh my god. What thing is that from? Oh, it's, I think it's a YouTube video. I think I showed my brother this, like, last year or something. And um, it's this, you guys maybe have seen on like TikTok or something, maybe on YouTube. Oh gosh. And I, I'm sorry, I cannot remember where I first saw it. But it's explaining like the basically the life of a cat, or, like why you would want a cat slash not. And one of the things is the vacuum. <laughs> it's so, it's so good. Well, I'm glad I remember where it came from. Whew. Mom, mommy's always giving great ideas. <laughs> so, guys, Disney Mom, a.k.a. Swirly, a.k.a. Gotta Go Game, a.k.a. American Girl Spirit. Mommy! Drop, drop, drop the subby. Drop the subby. If you guys want to also see, if you guys also want to see my very, very, very first YouTube video, Go to the very first video of American Girl Spirit. I'm telling you right now. 
<laughs> yeah, the first video ever was not was not on here. Oh. <laughs> oh, little 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 kitty stuffy. <laughs> yep. So young. So young. So young. Oh, mommy. Okay, Sven, you're still here, right? I swear I saw your name at some point recently. Yes, I did. Yes. You asked about Danny counting, and I, I was going to answer. She does. I guess she could count as a witch. You know what? I'm going to put her as an option. Sven, I wasn't going to do that. I'm going to put her as an option now. 100%. 100%. Okay, so um, here, I'm going to pull it up, actually, so I can, like, show it at the same time. Uh, this is why three monitors for me is so useful. Um, here. <laughs> all right discord right now okay so have have a look have a look at this mommy so you may have noticed um this is mommy right here this is weep on harry potter puzzles and spells and we're not at 30 anymore uh i've removed some afk people so there is room if you guys want to play a start playing the game or you have an account and you're not part of the you know a club and you need a club whatever um anyways so this is finn say hi to finn and then, Sug, I just found out, and I know I know you're like, who the heck? Who the heck? This is Sven's mommy. <laughs> so, yeah, mother, mother, daughter taking over. So I'm thinking, I'm just thinking that maybe we need to, like, step up our game here, do some, like, recon teamwork, and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> try try and compete try and compete for uh for the mother daughter one too <laughs> oh my gosh the thing is is look at how many puzzles she's done though like she's a pro to still be able to get this many trophies i mean uh, i'm just saying i'm just saying uh she shiga shiga <laughs> okay i see so suck i was like suck i don't know what that's supposed to mean must be an inside joke um you watch the christmas edition it's super cute of what of what of what uh um um Oh shoot! Uh, you'll have to you'll have to say what I I don't know Christmas edition for what I must have missed it and it's too far gone now. Um, yeah, <laughs> mom and daughter duos. Yeah, <laughs> let's go! I feel like we need Rocky Balboa music right now. <laughs> don't punch the mic. We've been there, done that. Not cool. Not cool. You like my idea? <laughs> or is it? <laughs> uh, next DMK stream. Well, that's a very good question. Um, I am definitely doing one on the 20th. I will be scheduling one in between there, but I don't have a date yet, Henry. Um, give, give me until... Uh, Give me until Sunday. I'll let you know on Sunday where I'm at in DMK and if I got some stuff, um, got some stuff for you there. I will right, we'll remove the Discord now because it is blocking my beautiful kingdom, but that is okay. Everybody say hi to mommy. Hi, mommy. Disney mom. <laughs> oh, and mommy cooks is Amanda. Remember. I know. She has to remember everybody. <laughs> I talk about you guys a lot, but I have, like, all these nicknames, right? So, to remember. Um, <laughs> yeah. Where's Becky? Becky. <laughs> oh, um, is she here still? Uru, Becky! Everybody, Uru, Becky! <laughs> we need to get her back here. 
Yeah, we did. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Absolutely wonderful. I had, uh, yeah, I had a freaking, I had a freaking great Thanksgiving. Yep, tis I. <laughs> I feel like you're like, hmm, yep, tis I. You had to decide whether you're going to answer yes, yes. <laughs> Uru. I saw her earlier. I think she left. No. Wear the costume. Please do something for Nightmare. Do I have a costume? <gasps> oh my gosh. Where is it? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh my freaking god okay wait question question um speaking of nightmare do i wear it for dream light tomorrow maybe it's a fashion question for mommy dream light tomorrow or the next time i do dmk because then i will incorporate dream light i'm not i am not getting up I'm not getting up and getting ready for my stream before 11 tomorrow. I just, I just don't want to. <laughs> I've already scheduled it for 11, so. But, none of it would be Sunday. Yo, uh, it's unbelievable. Mommy, you literally probably made Sith stay though, because he literally has been trying to get me to do like 30 days or 31 days of Halloween costumes again. He was bugging me back in like April. <laughs> so the thought probably of a costume he's gonna be like <gasps> yeah he's got that and a video he's gonna be going oh my god <laughs> becky oh no she's gonna be so sad she's like damn maybe we should uru her in the discord she'll probably come back oh no how many times do you have to block the there, it's happening so fast. I can't even right now. Uh, why is my bot not catching this? Like, seriously. Okay, sorry, guys. They keep getting through, even though I block all the key terms and the bot knows. It's just like they have some sort of thing they're getting through. Um... Do, 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 do. Somehow I figured out another game I gotta continue playing. Ooh, it wouldn't be your um your DC game, eh, Klein? Mm. Is Dream doing Nightmare? No, no, they're not. Unfortunately, but. So I could, I could then maybe for Sunday, but it's so cute. Fall guys, I have so, you know what? Damn it. There's so much I want to do. And since I haven't twitched in a bit, there's just like, it's literally more than ever. More than ever. I got a video and a cosplay. Sith is very happy boy. <laughs> and you had something else earlier. Oh, the cute thing. Yeah, you're you're literally having like the best day of your freaking freaking month, eh? You're like, yeah. It's like one of those days you need to buy a lottery ticket, right? You're like, everything's going right here. I'm getting lucky. Um, I should try Overwatch too. Isn't that's that's uh, a paid game though, eh? I think it was like a hundred dollars or something. Um, not that I don't want to, because I I really liked the look of it in the trailer, and it is in Canada, so you know a little bit of a perk there. I thought I saw like a chest somewhere. I did. Chesty game. Time for shoutouts. Yes, for YouTube. I Dreamlight is on YouTube, but yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it Sunday then. So Sunday, Sunday will be my next DMK. Henry, we just got it answered. Um, 
Yes. Sunday. Disney Magic Kingdoms for a little bit and then Dreamlight. So we'll do a dual stream Sunday. Yeah, we'll make it nice and long. It'll be fun. And I will look really cute. <laughs> like, really cute. Um, no, it's like Apex and it's free on... Oh, it's free on Xbox? <gasps> oh, good. Uh, Oh, I didn't know. I thought I thought it was um I thought that one was like hundred dollars. Maybe I'm thinking of Halo. Hmm. Cause remember back like before I was watching like so many trailers for that kind of stuff. It's possible. Hmm. I can't know. I can't remember. I must have got it mixed up. Uh da, 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 da. oh, Russell, your guys are giving me the answers. Russell from Up and the Manticore's Tavern. Henry. Let's go. First one here. The Onward Relic is used to level up Onward Attractions, and one of them, yes, is the Manticore's Tavern. Can we get anything else? Oh, bye, cat. Charge your phone. Charge your phone. <laughs> Becky! She came. She heard the Urus. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What was it that we wanted to do with Becky? Oh. Becky has a big day today. It's not her birthday, but it's her 25th month of being part of the kitty um the kitty team. So the memberships, Becky has been around 25 months. Sith for 10 today. Albin for 11 all rejoining the membership you guys are like like that's crazy that is crazy i know we don't have followage on here like we do uh on twitch it's like not a thing but um this is like a great way to know how long people have been like subbed and around it's pretty freaking cool um the lightfoot house kyren let's go um let's see the guinevere yes that one's great, Kat. Uh, did we see? Oh my gosh, <laughs> Becky! <laughs> Mommy, you're so cute. Oh, she probably, did. yeah, okay, she does know. I was gonna say, wait, she doesn't, she know? Um, yeah, okay, so that was that. Am I at 10 yet? Am I at 10 yet for the day? Six? Mickey's busy, oh, Elsa's good. Bye, bye, Elsa. I'm so sorry, girl, but you have to go home. I need some space in my kingdom. Elsa, no! You watch Murder, She Wrote All Day? Aw. That honestly, like, I haven't actually seen all those, but I would totally love to. Oh my gosh, Becky rocks. <laughs> It's been one year, one month for Becky. Yep. Sven, I did notice, by the way, and I wasn't streaming, but I did notice that you resubbed on Twitch for 13 months. I had no idea it had been that long. I thought we were at like nine or something, but I guess I was realizing, I was like, wait, that was a couple months ago, I guess now. It's like, it's crazy. You guys are like, you guys are amazing. Steffi's Kingdom redo on the channel anniversary. I told you, I will not do a kingdom, like, I will not strip my kingdom again. And I'll do sections, but I'm not emptying the entire thing until we get more land. So everybody can harass DMK about the land. It takes, it takes like six plus hours, right? Six to eight hours at least. And that's like knowing where a good chunk of my kingdom goes to design it. So it's a huge, huge commitment on the phone. Huge commitment for mobile. It's a lot of battery, a lot of hand holding. <laughs> the phone gets really hot and yeah. I mean, you know what though? The game's not glitching this update. Like. Typically when I do this, it's like it glitches super bad, right? But it's sorry to give anybody like a crazy heart attack or like seizure there. Um, but it's it's like 
typically sometimes when you do that, it like doesn't, it doesn't stay focused, but it looks great. I'm really happy with this. Um, check the Discord tab. For what? Twitch, I think I saw it. What did you say? The, oh, DMK, I think. I don't know. Oh, DMK is there. Uh, what am I looking at? Uh, no. It's Finn, I hope it's okay to show this. Oh, it's so cute. You post it in the Discord, you know I show the Discord. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> You have to go play with the red light with thunder. <gasps> no fair. Aw. I'm totally coming to do that. <laughs> okay, we'll, 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 play it, we'll play it again there so you guys get to see. Halloween decorating. It's super freaking cute. Bye, mommy. Thirteen months of being part of like the best community. Oh, you guys are oh, I can't even get over how lovely you guys are. Good hashtags. Rock on. They should have more than eight like I'm not logged in, otherwise I'd like it. Um Yeah. I gotta make sure to do that later. Shoot, I need a remind. I need like, I need, I need like a personal assistant while I'm like streaming to make like a list of like all the shenanigans. I try and do it myself and I'm usually good at the start. But then like as I go on, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. Anything I send you is totally up for grabs on here. Thank you. That is awesome. Thank you, Sven. It like, is this awesome. Free Ray! <laughs> okay. Uh, great content coming not just by me, but the rest of the community. I think that's I think that's a pretty pretty good one. I already started Halloween decorating my house and I got my costume. <gasps> can you can you tell us what you got for your costume, Abby? I would love to know. Love to love to love to know. Let's go over to my spooky area. Because this is going to change soon, so you guys may as well enjoy it while uh, while it's still here. Oh, look, there are the ghosts. Two of them together. I just spent $65 on a Mickey lantern that is always sold out. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay, we totally need to see what the heck this lantern looks like. Why do I have the Fortnite crown emote playing? I don't, actually. It is the Fortnite uh, chapter two music. I thought it sounded spooky. Kind of like a nice little theme for um, for uh, the Sanderson sisters. I, you guys know I pick Fortnite music, right? Like for my background because it's copyright free and I don't have to think about it and I can have my, my console on. So, you know, I get some extra light going. It works out quite well. Right? But, but, it means I use the Fortnite music. So, I'm very happy about that. It's a One Piece B costume and fishnets. <gasps> I hope we get to see pictures. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds way cute. Way cute. <laughs> um, I hope you plan to watch uh, the Tangled series next year. I am. I am next year. I have way too much on the go for series stuff. 
and rewatch and anime and movies and Christmas and all of that. But next year, next year, it is on the list. I have committed it there. So, yes, the reminders are very helpful, though. <laughs> Fortnite music is says, ah, Henry. It is. It really is. Some of it I can't use, but the majority of it I can. And it doesn't get annoying most of the time. So, if I pick one that, like, fits the theme for the stream or whatever... But uh, I've got a couple of spooky ones. I have like this, the Storm King. That's pretty cool. But I think it was like, um, I thought it was like a little intense. But I don't know. I thought this one was kind of different. And there's a section of it that I'm like, I really feel belongs with it. Not the entire thing, but I didn't know though at first. I was like, I forgot that the da, 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 da thing was actually in the soundtrack part. It was so crazy. So crazy. Um, coming from a person who's watched this so many times, it's so good. Well, keep reminding me then, okay? 2023, you must remind me. <laughs> it's on my list, but, you know, I, I definitely want to be reminded that it needs to be done in the first half of the year. Disney Movie Marathon. Wow, we used to do movie night on Twitch, but again, I, I would just sit there in like my PJs and watch stuff. And I usually would get really tired and silly by the end and it was just a whole lot of giggling. <laughs> and s saying all the words to like the entire movie. And I don't know if I was like annoying people. I'm not the best person to watch with, especially when I've seen a movie, I tend to like, it takes everything in me, like full concentration mode, to actually like not repeat the entire movie. Mommy hates watching Harry Potter with me just for that reason. <laughs> yep. And she's like, can you stop? Like, we want to hear the other people. <laughs> yep. Halloween costume and the just chatting. Can I, can I show it or maybe I should look first. Oh, I'm totally showing this. I am to, what? I want this. Where did you get this from? Oh, and look, there's me. <laughs> Saved screenshot. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now I want to watch HP with you. We've done we've done up to number five um, on Twitch. Like I don't think it was last year. I think it was the year before. Um, yeah, I guess it was the year before. But yeah, no, it could it could definitely be uh, be something we could do. Like I typically like to do it uh, September the first. That's usually when I do my Harry Potter marathon. Um, I think that, you know, I've watched, I mean, I've watched them for sure, but I do like to kind of make a big thing about it. So maybe in January this year. Yeah. <laughs> there was a New Year's. I literally was like sitting on, on my chaise and I was like watching Harry Potter and I was like, yeah. By myself. It was, you know, it was actually fairly enjoyable. A fairly enjoyable New Year's. I was, yeah, exams kicked my butt. And I needed some downtime after Christmas. <laughs> I can't remember if I was feeling that great that year, too. I was like, I can't go out. New Twitch subs on the stream would be like, what the fuck is wrong with her? Is she drunk or something? Henry, it, don't laugh, but that was true. Ask Abby. She would know firsthand. I was just flat out just giggly. Perfect. Abby, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be super great. Thank you, girly. Thank you. Okay, Um, I think I'm done with you. My phone's just getting like kind of hot. 
Um, so I've still got like two and a half hours. So I gotta, I gotta make sure two twenty that I actually do that. Um, so Disney Dreamlight Valley tomorrow, uh, eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube, and then four p.m. I will be on Twitch. Hopefully tomorrow, if all goes well. And I will be doing some Fortnite and we're going to, um, we're going to play, but we're also going to be watching in the background type of thing. So you guys, you know, whether you're playing with or maybe you've already seen it, whatever, we're going to be watching Hocus Pocus 2. So it'll be like, you know, we'll each be watching it separately, right? Like I can't display it, but um, you guys can watch it with and then I'll like make comments and stuff at the time. So if you guys haven't seen it, that's your time to watch it with me um, uh, tomorrow. So probably we'll start that probably like after five though. Um, because I'll probably do some like chatting and uh, I, I might try and do some like a video, like watch uh, for video reaction or something tomorrow. Even if I just do one or two of them, there's a couple of them that I've really been wanting to watch. They're supposed to be kind of funny. So um, I'm like, I'll just wait to do the reaction on Twitch and <laughs> Twitch has been like, eh. <laughs> so um, yeah, that should be all sorted for tomorrow. So that should be good. It was a great movie. I love it. It's good. One's still better, but we're going to be, we're going to be doing it tomorrow uh, together. Thank you, Abby. I appreciate it, girly. Hi, Neil. How's it going? Uh, don't forget, guys, before you head out to give the stream a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Sub, of course, if you guys are new. Stay tuned for all the fun uh, that we have going on here pretty much all the time, especially tomorrow. So hit that notification bell if you haven't. Check me out on social media. And remember, if you guys missed the reel on my Kitty Aris XO on uh, Instagram, I did I did make a cooking. I mean, ish. Yeah, I, I was cooking at the time. Um, <laughs> Thanksgiving uh, reel. So you guys can uh, see some of the stuff that I actually got to have over Thanksgiving. Um, it's on there. It's like a minute long. So you guys can have some fun with that. And I will be putting up the poll tonight as well. I'm going to add Danny in there, Sarah, Mary, and Winifred. So I will get that up um, before I go to bed tonight. So uh, you have until now that I have have my stream scheduled for DMK and Dreamlight on Sunday... Um, I will be sharing that on Sunday with you guys for my next DMK. I will be displaying the poll, reading all comments. So uh, keep an eye for that later today. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. And I will, well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow at 11. Bye.